everyone to this week's episode of Amiga Dawn, our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks uh, campaign. Uh, hi to uh, Tally Darkstar, who's uh, dropped in uh, in the chat. Um, and uh, say hello, everyone, because everyone's here today, except for Thomas, who's running a bit late. But say hello, everyone. Hello. Hey. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah, I was waiting for someone to say Always you do that every week. I don't know why I say it. I really don't. <laughs> you're an horrible, horrible person. You know that, don't you? Actually, you're not even a person. You're a blob. So what are, you, what are we talking about? Uh, when we left our intrepid... I feelings, you know. <laughs> yeah, squishy ones. Um, <laughs> when we left our intrep intrepid crew last time, um, we uh, they had just uh, finished uh, destroying a anthropomorphic robot who they thought was a living, breathing um, astrogator um, who tried to kill them all. So you, uh, unless I'm, missing, unless I'm, uh, I'm uh, getting myself badly confused, uh, you guys are in the, um, currently in the medical deck, deck three, I think that is, from memory. Deck five. Deck five, I knew it was one of the two. Thank you. Yeah, currently on deck five uh, in... Uh, and uh, have cleared out the computers of all traces of the Matrix, as far as you're aware. Is that how you remember things, Katrina? No, I messed up one computer. Damn it. I was hoping you'd forgotten about that. <laughs> but otherwise, yes. <laughs> I think it was the maintenance computer that I messed up. Yeah, it was. Um, I was hoping you'd forget that one. Damn. <laughs> I don't know where the Ceres went for a, an attempt after that, though, but I definitely know that Cat messed it up. I can't remember. Did you, I can't remember. Ceres, did you go? Did you go for a? Did you try and fix that up or not? I don't think you did. I think I identified it as being missed. Yes, but you haven't fixed it yet. I don't think. Correct. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, anyway, so you've got um, you got some people hurt, obviously. Um, unless we did, unless we did some uh, quick healing at the end of last session, I don't think we did. Has anyone? Everyone's got some damage, haven't they? No. Has anyone I, got? I have five points. Anyone on the table? No. Oh, okay, we must have healed everybody up then. Um, in which case, um, you're currently on deck five. Um, you've accounted for every every crew member, uh, and, and every robot but one. Um, and it looks like you've encountered uh, and you've got all the computers from deck one down to deck five so far, except for the maintenance computer, which you've identified as being missed. So what do you guys want to do? So I, I point out to Kat, hey, I think there's something wrong on the maintenance computer here. Should I try to fix it or can you try again? Uh, I don't think I can try again because I think I, I, I failed the fix role. I didn't fail the detect role. Or... Yeah, it's right. that's right. You failed the you failed the fix roll. You thought you you okay. thought you were successful on the fix yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah. So, so I need I... to do the repair roll, right? I think yes, so, that's yeah. right. Let's hope it's a level one computer. The maintenance computer. You might be lucky. Um. Sorry, I can't even find the maintenance. Oh, there it is. Now it's level two. Rip. Ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyone else got computer skill? No. Nope. Anyone at all? Let's make sure we hook this maintenance computer up to the UPF mainframe. Yes, let's do that. Well, you're not due for relief for a couple of weeks yet, so you may have some time between now and then when you uh, when you finish doing things to uh, do some downtime, do some further study, and uh, get yourselves um, organised in that regard and have another crack at it, maybe. No? Yeah, I would assume because of the the critical nature that we would probably once a day recheck all the computer systems. Just to make sure there's no reoccurrence. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, that would be my plan too. 
in the meantime, what are you doing now? Because, I mean, I, th I think at this point, uh, at least Cat would be worried that this thing could escape this and get off of this Get platform. off world. Yeah, get off world. And I think that would be very bad. Um, oh, I don't think it'd be very good. Put it that way. <laughs> It's it, it, it's it's probably up there with our little incident with the uh, the blue plague. <laughs> well, it wasn't your issue. Oh, that incident. <laughs> or you know the uh, on, radiation. Come on, I'm trying to forget that thing. <laughs> so did we did we scour Money Spider for the missing robot? Uh, you have no. You've 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 done from deck one down to deck five so far. Okay, so I think we want to scrub the the deck seven, six, seven, eight, and verify, you know, hunt down that last robot. Right. Okay. And don't forget the robot up on the moon. Yeah, and then go to Snowball and clear Snowball. Right. Okay. Cool. So, uh, if everybody's healthy uh, or healthy enough, um, then uh, you can head down to deck six if you like, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I think um, Jazz would want him and Babu to lead. Quite probably. Yep. Babu has no problem going first. Close with the enemy quicker. Jazz can <laughs> <clears throat> shoot over my head. Well, if you don't, ha if you if you pull your head in, you won't have a head to be exactly. shoot over. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, when, when Babu says something like that, he, he does subconsciously tuck the head in a little closer to the mm. rest of him. No neck. Yeah, no neck. Uh, any, just out of interest, uh, Ben, what are you talking about on the chat? Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> you're uh, about to <laughs> box. It's, it, it's explaining oh. who you are. Oh. Okay. And uh, yeah, that you've been GMing. Four yeah. years longer than I've oh, been alive. Back, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've just, I've just, I got, I got, I got a job, and I got a little distracted while doing the job, but I'm doing the job, and yeah, <laughs> I'm watching the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it just goes to show you how good I am, then, doesn't it? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. Um, so uh, you're down on deck six. What are you going to do when you're in, when, when you're down on deck six? Just have a look around, or what's the story? Yeah, I mean, we're going to go room to room and search the whole place. All right. You know, make sure that we um, can't get surrounded, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, ambushed. Um, all right. Well, deck, you, you, you basically go through uh, deck six in, in pairs um, and pretty much clear out deck six because there are a number, of, obviously, um, there are a number of different routes um, that can be taken through that southeast quadrant. Um, but yeah, so Dexic, Dexic comes out pretty clear um, of things. Do you want to head down to Dex 7? Yep, that's next. And the shuttle. Or is that shuttle gone? Uh, no, that shuttle... No, that shuttle's there. That shuttle's there. Um, so, uh, again, uh, Dex 7 uh, ends up being pretty clear. Um, um, and uh, as you poke your head down into deck eight, deck eight comes up pretty clear as well. Do we? Can so we oh, go ahead. Go on. No, 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 go on. I was going to say, can we find the um, robots by the computers? Uh, if they weren't destroyed. Um, but. Um, one of the, 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 the robot management software sits on the maintenance computer. Ah. Uh. Uh, having said that, there's also a robot management program on the main computer. Miss Cat? Yes. That uh, sounds like something for you. Yeah. Well, you need to get onto the main computer, so you'll need terminals one, two, three, four, or ten.
And one, two, and three are on the deck, are on the flight deck. Yeah, I was just looking for number 10. Deck three. Are you guys getting feedback from me? Nope, I'm good. Not feedback. We can hear stuff, but we it's mm. yeah, it's not feedback. That's right. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess we're going up. We, we need to go back up to the elevator anyway. So I guess we're going up to deck three or to the flight deck. Oh, deck two. Okay, deck two. Got um, all right. Well, um, you, if you give me a quick uh, display info, um, please, cat. Yeah, um, you've accounted for, you've either accounted for destroyed or uh, um, uh, disabled the location of every robot um, registered on the system, including the astrogator. <laughs> um, the only robot you haven't accounted for is HKKR2, uh, which is the ice cutting, ice cutting robot, which is apparently up on Snowball, according to the software. Is that going to be in a place that's kind of inhospitable to human things that need to breathe, or do we do we have a a map of Snowball? You do have a map of Snowball. Um, hang on a sec. Yeah, it should I... be in your images list. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that. Um... It looks kind of exposed. <laughs> All right, but I guess there's probably equipment up there for us to deal with that. There should be. Cool. All right. Do we want to go up to Snowball, given that we have lots of time anyway? Sure. All right. Well, if you make your way to deck one and then into the lift, um, and then, um, as you pass through deck one, there is a maintenance spot there, remember? Um, uh, and it's dead, right? Yeah, you killed it. Okay, just making sure. It's Don't still dead. Assume... It <laughs> it's still dead, yes, it's still dead. Um, and so, uh, riding the lift up to Snowball, obviously the gravity drops down yeah. to, and... um, Sorry. And and as as cats like riding up the elevator, it's like maybe I should have checked the program running the elevator before we we, we went up here <laughs> and look around to see everybody's reactions. <laughs> Is there a computer terminal in the elevator? No, not in the elevator. There's not. No. <laughs> um. So um, when you uh, you get down to about point two G. Um, in in uh, in gravity and arrive at the uh, the micro still um, section. Um, remember that uh, area uh, L one uh, is uh, pretty well trashed in terms of there was an explosion up here. Remember, and it's where you found a body of a Yazirian who you thought was the astrogator. Remember? Yep. Um. Yes. So. Uh, and of course, Terminal Eight is here as well. Although, pardon me, <laughs> Terminal Eight um, is um, rather true. No, it's not trash. It's still working. Terminal Eight. It's got some superficial damage to it, but it appears to be still working. If you want to get onto it. Because you haven't done the MCR computer yet either. So we come in at L3. That's the elevator, the shaded yeah. box. Yeah, basically, yes. Okay. Okay. So you've got the MLV computer and you've got the MCR computer nearby. nearby. Cat, remember? Yeah, I'm just looking now. Yeah, I, I just did. Yeah, yeah, just you're silent on me, so.
So Terminal 11 and Terminal 8 will both get you on, on each of those. I mean, the CR computer is completely, it's boned. That's the one expl that exploded. Yes, that's right, it is too. Yeah. But the EV computer is still, the EV computer is not boned. Yeah, okay, so I'll go in, jump into, is that Terminal 11 there? It's so, Terminal 11 there, yes. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, you're, you're on it. Um, it's uh, a level one computer. It has two computer programs on it. Um, uh, a life support one program and a transport one program. Cool. Uh, can they um, do a repair computer on the transport program just to make sure that it's not still affected? The transport program or the entire computer? Uh, I guess the whole computer. Uh, go for your life. Is that repair? Yeah, it was. Um, uh, yeah, well, um, it was infected as such. Um, you were lucky the life support didn't trip while you were, um, while you were uh, halfway up. Could have suffocated you. Nice. Um, but you've cleaned it up. You've cleaned it up now. Okay. Yeah. It, standard protocol is any computer that he... Well, it, basically, I, I would double check in all of them anyways. Go, all right. Well, give me an operate computer then, please, for a level one computer. Yep. And you can give me a computer repair for the. Yep. There you go. As far as you're, as far as you're both aware, it is clean. As far as you're aware, yeah. it's clean. Uh, so now what? There was a second computer, right? Oh, that was the MCR. It's been blown. Yeah, that was the one that was, yeah. was trashed. Um, Jazz would Jazz and I think Babu want to check this. You know, clear this area L1 and L2. Assuming we didn't already do that. Uh, it's pretty well damaged, but yeah, you did you did do some of it. Remember, this is where the explosion was, where you found the body of the Uzirian. Who turned out to be one of the technicians, not the uh, astrogator? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, but I mean now that make sure the robot's not hiding. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, um, you check through L one and L two. No, the robot's not hiding here. No, it's an external robot, right? Yeah. Well, it's designed to cut ice off of uh, Snowball and to attach to the front of the shuttles when you're approaching as a heat shield when you're approaching the um, planet Ventru. So, yeah, it's probably an external. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. And Ben, the computers here wouldn't tell us where the robot is located currently. No, there wasn't a robot maintenance computer software. on here. Software. No. Yeah. Now the soft the, the, the robot maintenance software is downstairs. Oh, there might be there might be one on. I mean, there is the snowball the snowball dock computer, MSD, right? Um, it could I mean it could have a robot ma management on it. It would be it would be certainly something you would probably expect for the any robots being controlled locally. You know what I mean? Because don't forget yeah. don't forget the cable connecting. Uh, the cable connecting. Um, uh, um, the money spider and snowball, something here. like 16 kilometers long. We? Well, we, I mean, we came here to do the robot and clean up what, snowball, so let's go to the shuttle dock. That's where the next computer is. The shuttle dock or the starship dock? Let's do shuttle. That's where the computer is. Okay. Yeah, terminal nine. Yeah. Okay, so you jump the, jump the, the um, um, transport tube. Uh, and uh, a few minutes later, um, in practically, you, you go, the, the gravity's between point two and point, uh, point two and point one um, in the docks uh, and the still area and um, drops almost to zero uh, towards the middle of Snowball. That would make sense. Um, so you end up in dock two. No, sorry, end up in the shuttle dock, which is S5 on my map. Just 
d just thinking out loud, a, a still would be really slow at that kind of gravity. Yeah, but don't forget, <laughs> don't forget this, don't forget the micro still distillation column goes all the way down from down to fourteen k. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. And remember, yeah. I mean, if you look at the map, if you look at the map, if you look at the map to the left of the shuttle dock, which shows the money like spider kilometers map, long. Twenty. Uh, oh, the, the, the still, yeah, yeah the still, and, yeah. and it goes down to like zero point seven. Yeah, okay, mm. that makes that makes sense. Got it, got it, got it. That's all right. It's okay. Yes. Um. So uh, yeah. Um. The transport tube opens up onto a simple foyer. Um. There is a. Um, there's a door at the far end, and there's a terminal to the left. I would leave Cat and Jazz to the computer and terminal, and Babu and Jazz. I'm sorry, Cat and Cerise. To the computer and Jazz and Babu to clear. Yeah. Well, there's nothing in the foyer um, apart from a locker, uh, which actually isn't labeled on the map that well, but it, it's there. Um, um, the mate, the snowball computer, uh, has, um, computer security one, life support one and robot management three on it. However, um, you're not sure whether it's infected or not. So you want to display Haskell? info and then a repair? Oh, I need you to operate first. Yeah, I'm, and I'm yep. just looking for infection. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a display info anyway. So, oh, the infection is display info? Yep. Unfortunately, you don't think it's infected either. Because the Snowball Dock computer is a level two computer. Okay. Do you want to see Cat if you can find the robot? Yeah, sure. I should be able to. I guess my di I'll display info again. Mm hmm. That's what you need to do. Uh, according to the computer, um, the robot is in the ice mine at the moment, not too far away. I guess, can I try and, as much as as players we know that it's futile, can I uh, try to operate computer and tell the, the bot to return to base? Uh, it's actually manipulate programs what you need, but yes. Um, and I'm assuming you mean uh, to bring it into the dock at S4? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, the, the, apparently the robot acknowledges acknowledges that this is the case. Um, and um, yeah. we'll be here shortly. Yep, we'll I'm just shortly, trying. To, yeah. I'm trying to do my best not to meta game, even though I'm asking you to do something that is futile. Um, yep, cool. Fair enough. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess we'll wait for it for a period of time. Well, how are you going to tell when it's uh, when it's arrived? Well, Jazz wanted to go clear the dock. Yeah. All right. Well, um, the dock's not pressurized, right? S four is not pressurized. No, the corridors around S four are. So yeah, someone needs to don a spacesuit, which I assume there's one around. Um, there are some in the locker. Yes. What skill is that? Um, technically, it's spacesuit operations, I think, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. I don't. They're not like power armor or anything. I don't, no, it's not power armor. Yeah, it's, just, I, it's just a vacuum suit. Yeah. It's just a vacuum suit. Yeah, so Jazz will put one on. All right. So where's Jazz? Wants to join him and maybe others. 
for, so well, once you're what once we're suited up, whoever is thinks whoever is getting suited up, where are you headed? Abu will go with him. Mm -hmm. Um, to, I don't under, quite understand the layout here of all the right. Well, around S four. Okay, S four is open to space. Right, but there's those hallways with the airlocks. Yes, that's right. There to the to the to the south of S four is an observation area, lounge area between two airlocks. The, uh, the airlock to the north is where the shuttle actually drops it drops its nose into. Okay, so I would go check out the observation area. Yeah, no, there's nothing there. The, do we know where the um, robot's going to come, or can we see it from the observation area? Well, there's a, dome, there's a window there. There. Yep. All right. Um, and looking at the window, there is, um, you can see, um, no, 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 no. Um, a large, as in a couple of metres across, uh, roughly spherical um, uh, uh, metal body um, with um, some... Uh, two mechanical arms and um, what appears to be a laser power torch uh, sitting in the middle of S4. Well, floating Whoa. in the middle of S4. Hmm. I mean, if it listened to that, do you want me to ask it to deactivate itself? Like, is that a command that we can send through the... Computer, yeah. Uh, I guess if you guys are watching that, uh, I'll go and try and do that and then see is what the, happens. Before you do that, is the laser torch, uh, is it held or is it, you know, part of the robot? It's a third arm, effectively. Okay. Yeah, I would command it to, to go into maintenance mode and shut down. But looking at that, you'd reckon, if you give me a robot ID, please... Um, roboticists. Yeah, you reckon you 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 you'd guesstimate um, that it's a heavy duty, probably a level two or three, just by just by the look of it. Uh, you also note it's got no legs or tracks. It apparently moves around by jets, gas jets. Yeah, I mean it's very low G, so yeah. That's not yeah. something that you want to be fighting. Oh, well, heavy duty robots tend to have um, a standard heavy duty body tends to have something like 500 stamina points. Yeah. Um, ouch. Um, uh, yeah, look, uh, the, robot, uh, the robot acknowledges it's shutting down on via the computer. And... Um, uh, pardon me, sorry. And um, the robot uh, appears to go into um, standard shutdown mode, from what you can see. Cerise will suit up. Um, and I thought you were Jazz will, up. Yeah, to go out there and inspect it for infection. Okay. Are there any of the mag boots, whatever they're called? Yeah, but it won't help you much. Yeah, definitely make sure I am clipped in. Ah, yes, that's what I was waiting for. So you're going out tethered, and Jazz is going out tethered. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, if anybody else wants to go, they can. Jazz is there to get Cerise out if Cerise dies. Yeah, Voc is <laughs> going out tethered with mag boots on. Okay. Just, you know, standing near the door. I'll wait yeah. at the window. You'll wait at the window. Boys? Have fun storming the castle, boys. Name the film. The Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. Who said it? Uh, Max. Max who? I don't know. Uh, Miracle, Max. Miracle Max. Miracle Max, thank you. And Miracle Max was played by? Billy Crystal. Crystal. Thank you very much. You win a cookie. Or some more experience points. Uh, the, one, the ones that you... <laughs> 
Actually, I'll, I've, got a, I've, got a game, I've got a little game to play with you later, it's, and it could earn you some extra experience points. It could also lose you some extra extra experience points, but we'll see how we go. Right. Um, so um, the, that entire T-shaped corridor needs to be uh, depressurized to get out there. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I see yeah. that. All yeah. right. So um, are you going to leave that T-shaped corridor depressurized or are you going to repressurize it once you once you exit into S S four? Uh leave it depressurized. Right. Uh, I see can the... be in the observation area. Yeah. yeah. Well I'm ass- I'm assuming you split up at the moment. I'm assuming cats um in um the S the S five area at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm assuming docks in the observation uh, observation area. Waving. Waving, and I'm assuming everybody else is going outside. It sounds good to me. Yeah. Is that is that is that is that correct? Or am I, am I, is that not what you want to do? No, that sounds fine to me. Yep. Okay. Loke is going to keep the door open. I'm not going out there. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going out there. Why is that, cat? Do you have a phobia of spacewalks, do? Just doesn't seem like something cat would want to do. Uh. <laughs> no, cat should stay on the computer. Just yeah. Stay- there is yeah. actually a real reason, like if sending commands to the robot seems to be working, so you may as well keep that option open. All right, uh, all right. So the four, the four of you going out um, are uh, are at that, yeah, uh, at the uh, airlock. You want to? You're saying you leave the airlock door open, are you? Yeah. You're gonna hold. Yeah, you're gonna hold. Yeah. You're gonna hold the door open, are you? Um, yeah, I am. Voke. Thank you. Um, okay. And what's what what's everybody else doing? I mean, is uh, obviously obviously Cerise, you're approaching the bot. What's Jazz doing? And what's Badu well, doing? Is, Jazz is going to stay back near the airlock door. Right. I think uh, Babu will stick with Cerise in order okay. to. If the robot makes a sudden move, then I can make a sudden move to attract its attention. Okay, not a problem. Uh, so, when you are, what, what's your what's your plan on, on when you approach the uh, the robot, Cerise? What's your, what do you plan to do? I uh, plan to verify that it's in maintenance mode and shut down, and then uh-huh. uh, um, go in and verify it's shut down and disconnected from power. Right, and then uh, check it for infection. Yep. Okay. Okay, so um, you move up to it, and unfortunately, you know what's going to happen. Uh, when you get in range of its arms, it swings at you. Shoot. Let's try that again. Uh, and... Okay. Um, so uh, with one of its arms, it uh, clops um, Cerise on the uh, body head, doesn't really matter, uh, and does uh, 40, four zero points of impact damage. Uh, does the suit take any kinetic? And Nope. It's okay. just a space suit. There's no armor on it. Uh, Bab- Babu, you take 36 points of impact damage from the other arm. Okay, the suit doesn't stop it, but the skin suit underneath oh, your skin, does. Yeah, your skin suit underneath will, yeah. All right. But your space suit. So 36? Suit, 36, that's correct. Um, and just to make things even more interesting, um, the uh, power torch um, shoots off um, a blast over towards uh, Jazz. Oh, that's a well and truly a hit. It's almost a crit, actually. Uh, this one's going to hurt. Now, what shields does Jazz have, and can he wear them with a space suit? Yeah. Yep, no problem. Oh, boy, you're lucky they did, those didn't explode. 
You got a, what type of what type of suit or what type of um, apart from a spacesuit, what type of suit and or uh, shield does he have? So he's got an albedo screen. I think that's he wears a skin suit and an albedo screen. Right. Okay. Um, you know how much you, you, you've got? How much power he's got on this on the screen? I take no, it. No, I'm looking. I'll find it. All right. Uh, 125 points of damage. Laser damage. So that is 25 power? Uh, yeah. Oof. Uh, and obviously the bot is active. Obviously. You guys aren't going to be able to kill that. Are you running back inside? That's why I left well, the door yeah, open. My plan. Good, good, good. All right. So, uh, yeah, you intend to retreat, do you? Yeah. Well, if, it, if it's got like 500 stamina and it's doing <laughs> like 200 damage around, <laughs> the math does not work. Well, the math works perfectly fine. For the GM. math always works. It just might not give you the answer you want. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, you better give me an issue for you guys, please. The, the four of you out there. Uh, Kat, are you going to try and do anything at this, at this stage? Just, if you are, you better give me an issue roll too. If not, don't worry. Babs, 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 babs. Not that I think my initiative matters because uh, I, uh, my actions would take more than a round. We've never done computer things in combat. Oh, uh, yeah, no, well, no, you're right. It, it's going to take a, a couple of rounds for the computer stuff, yes. Sorry, mate. Uh, I was thinking about other things you may want to try and do, but that's up to you. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there are actually any, because the doors are... If if we had depressure, if we had repressurized the, yeah. the T, I, th I would be running to depressurize it, but... Yeah. We didn't, so it's yeah. all good. Uh, Doc, what about you? Are you doing? You do you want to try and attempt something this round, or are you just going to sit out? No, I stopped waving. That's about it. You stopped waving. Okay, that's very kind of you. <laughs> okay, Cat, you're up. You didn't want. You said you were you're going to do some stuff on the computer. What were you trying to attempt to do? I mean, I would just be trying to send a command to shut it down again to see if, okay. if that did anything. Uh, well, give me the roll. It's going to take a, a, a couple of rounds for, that, for you to do that, but that's okay. Well, it's a good roll. Um, Babu, you're up next. What do you want to do? Am I able to go on hold? Yep. Well, uh, I want to make sure Cerise can get out of there. All right, and so vote. Yeah, all right, so I'll put you at five, shall I? Oh well, I'm I'm on the inside, uh, holding the door. You're on open, the inside. So, then I yeah. just need to get Cerise. Cerise and Jazz. I'll put you on six then. Jazz, you're at the door too, I believe. You gonna shoot back? Or are you gonna flee or what? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Um, I thought he had attack for his laser. Let he does. Oh here, it, oh, here it is. I see where it is now. Oh, wow. That's oh, a, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> a, yeah, well done. He shoots it in the head. Or, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, that does leave a mark. It leaves a big mark. The robot does not appear to have any albedo screen or anything else like that. And he gets two but shots, it's, right? It's not, it's not and gonna, he gets two it's shots. It's not going to fail its stun check with 500 stamina. Hasn't got 500 stamina anymore. <laughs> 400 stamina. Hasn't got 400 stamina. Well, okay. If you it's want to be technical, it's got 386. 86 stamina. Pain in the ass. <laughs> Let me see if I can roll under 386 on percentile dice. Uh, no. 
but it was a very good hit. Um, Cerise, you're up, and within uh, um, within uh, uh, melee range, if you wish. No, nope, she wants that. to retreat. Okay. Just, just uh, for the record, I'm going yeah. defensive, and we'll be backing out defensively if Cerise can get clear. Okay. All right. So you're you're fleeing. You're fleeing, Cerise, or are you uh, defend, or are you withdrawing? Uh, what's it take to get back into the airlock door? Well, it's not very, it's not very, um, it's not a very big area. So yeah. if I have time to, to withdraw and get within the airlock, I'll do that. Otherwise, yeah. I'll flee. You know, you, I think you can withdraw, okay? Okay. Well, I mean, it's two minutes, it's two minutes a square and that can't be more than, than what, five, six squares? Yeah, I don't the, know how close he was to the airlock door. Oh, you, the robots are around about where, literally where the, the letters S4 are. So okay. what's that? Two, four, six, eight, eight to ten metres. You can travel further than that, can't you? Yep. Norman? Yeah. So I thought. All right, so you're, you're withdrawing uh, to the airlock. Babu, you're backing up. What's your... Backing what's your... out with him. Yeah, okay. All right. Voke, what are you doing? Um... Well, I'm keeping the door open. We just need Jazz to get inside, right? Uh, yes, by the end of the round. Or okay. the jazz... So Babu yeah. retreated? Babu's retreating as well, yes. Um, so When everyone gets right. inside... Well, actually, Jazz no. hasn't had his turn yet. Jazz, is... jazz has had his turn. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Yeah. Uh, the robot does follow up. Um, it uh, again has another blast at Jazz with its um, power torch. Uh, this time the shot goes wide on the power torch, um, and cuts a hole um, in the airlock. <laughs> no, it's a power. No, it's it's it, it's a bit a bit more of a welding torch type thing. Yeah. It's going to take more than one round to cut you know, through the airlock. Um, it also has a swing at Jazz with one of its arms and manages to hit. Oops, I need another one. No, I don't. I need another. F wow. Um, interesting. Um, for 21 points of impact damage, Jazz. Uh, and it also swings at Babu on the way out and manages to clip Babu again for another 30 points of impact damage. And I'll get everybody to roll initiatives, please. I hate to say this out loud, but is there not a rule in this game of when you get hit in combat with a space suit that there's some kind of chance of it ripping apart and you dying? Yeah, there is. Okay, cool. I'm not out there, so I can throw those statements out flippantly. But <laughs> and I'm sure your fellow posse, uh, party members will uh, will appreciate your, your dil due diligence in that regard. <laughs> That's why I was fleeing. Yeah. I just didn't know how lethal this kind of combat was. Like, very. Well, when uh, you're taking 100, 125 laser damage, it's lethal yeah. either way. But yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, Doc's on a fourteen. You're gonna go this time, are you, Doc? Okay, no, no worries. Doc's gonna be delaying, so yeah, yeah, it's okay. That's cool. Uh, 14, 11 for eleven for Babu. Where are you, Babu? There you are. And an eight for. Uh, which is you? Which three? Which is you? Which is Jazz? Oh, uh, the plus seven is Jazz. So twelve is Jazz. Twelve eight is Cerise. Jazz. Twelve is Jazz. Okay, and the bot doesn't change. Doc, you're going to be delaying till till yeah, we are. We have stopped waving too. We'll we'll yeah. make our way towards. Perhaps where uh, casualties will be coming from. Right. Okay. Well, you have to wait for the airlock to cycle to do, to do that. Cat, 
you're still working on your on yeah, your bot. I think I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, you're still working on your bot. That's fine. Jazz, what are you doing? Uh, retreat. Okay. Uh, and... Can I all right. shoot at all and retreat and get only in... one only one shot and there's a penalty to shoot penalty to hit, but yes. It's still good enough to hit. Uh, 335 points left. Um, are you cycling the, the... turns? You might be able to stun them. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, are you, um, yeah, as soon as, uh, cycling as, soon as everybody's in, we're going to cycle the airlock. All right. Well, the airlock is still in the process of closing, Babu. Do you want to do anything? It's not closed yet, and you've got line of sight to the bot. All right. Am I able to hit it and still get through the airlock? Not melee. All right. Then I'm getting through the airlock. Right. Okay. Cerise? Um, she's already through the airlock, right? Yeah, she is, but she does still have line, she does still have line of sight on the on the bot through the closing door. No, I'd have to get out my weapon and all that. Yeah, Vac, what about you? Uh, since Jazz is in, I will close the airlock door. Yeah, it's in the process of being closed. Do you want to do anything else? Throw a frag grenade. <laughs> Just do you have one? <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, Fabu no. has one. No? Yes? <laughs> no. I could throw a smoke grenade. That'll work. Yeah, in the vacuum of space. All right. Uh, the robot bangs on the door uh, with its fists, uh, but does not um, uh, does not uh, does not get at you as such. Um, the the uh, airlock starts to cycle uh, while it's cycling. Uh, what are you guys? Are you guys staying at that northern end of the corridor, or are you moving somewhere else? No, moving to the retreating towards yeah. the door out. It, well, which door out? There's two. So, which way are you going? Door back to Kaz. Toward, back toward back towards yep. Cat or down towards Doc? Cat, Cat, and Cat. we're gonna tell Doc to once the. Door, the corridor is pressurized to come back. Yeah, he should get in his airlock and get ready to come back. Yeah, he, he is, I believe. Yeah. Do I, yeah. from what I can see at the computer, do I get any impression that it's trying to cut through the door? Uh, it doesn't appear to be. There's nothing in the security cameras to say that. Um, in fact, um, the robot seems, uh, appears to be shut down again. Huh. All right. That's going to be a challenge for. Ah, uh, no, this this is not the starship dock, so it's all good. Um. So the uh, the uh, um, eventually uh, dock you, you cycle your airlock and uh, join up with everybody else back uh, in S five. Um. I believe people are hurt. Yes. Uh, Boo's hurt. Someone's got an ouchie. Cerise and Jazz are both hurt. Oh, wait. Yeah, Jazz is hurt. Cat's got some RSI from typing on the computer so furiously. <laughs> Cerise is down 22, and Jazz is down, uh, I think, 10. Okay. Well, first, first aid down first. 38. So, first aid first. Who was that for? That was for Cerise, and then next right. one for Jazz. Okay, so you both get 10 points back. I believe uh, Babu wants first aid too, I believe. Yep. yep. Probably even minor. So 10 points back for uh, Babu. Uh, and if people are still down, you look at either minor or major surgery as well. Minor for Cerise, please. 12 points. Okay. Uh, yes, just you're back on full. Cerise, 
What about Jazz? Jazz is already at full with first aid. Okay, well, the Babu, I believe, is still down. Is that right, Babu? Babu needs 28. Well, it's a major surgery if you want to go for all of it or a minor surgery for 20. We'll do the minor. Okay. Uh, and so you get 20 points back. So you're on minus eight, I believe, Babu. You're down eight, I believe. Does yep. that sound right to you? Yep. Okay. Thank you, Doc. So, so, what do you boys want to do, boys and girls want to do now? Because as far as you're aware, the robot is shut down. Well, we have empirical evidence that it is not. Uh, but we can't uh, do much about it. Unless there's a heavy weapon on board. Do, we haven't seen one, have we? Nope. Because, I mean, if, if Jazz could sit down in that airlock with a heavy laser, he would make short work of it, but I don't think there is such a thing. Well, he could always up, he could always up his, his uh, laser rifle damage. The old 20 SEU Hail Mary. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, even that, what's uh, 20 times 5.5 is a lot of rounds, and Jazz is probably dead after that. Um, two, only two or three. Yeah. Yeah, he'd have to put. Yeah, he'd have to put his screen on a backpack and put his the heavy laser, <laughs> or his laser rifle on a backpack, and. Yeah, and your your point being. I don't know and how many backpacks that we're gonna have. He, and hope that his spacesuit doesn't get pierced, all that kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's. I. I. Don't, I. I think that we probably don't want to deal with that. That's a bit too gnarly. Is if there's a robot you can tr or a computer program you could trust to make a, to to monitor where that robot is on the security cameras, as long as it's not moving, I don't particularly care. The trouble is, if it's infected, it could reinfect the rest, the rest of the, the rest of the uh, installation. Only if it moves. Not necessarily. I mean, the engineers in the party is it, would and collapse the ice mine. Well, only by basically blowing up Snowball. Uh, no. Yeah, right. I mean, there's not enough gravity there. Collapse it per se. Yeah, that's true. right. It's not enough gravity. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't see. I, I I'm not a good option unless uh, maybe I could instruct it to just go out into space, like and get to a point where it couldn't possibly return. Like, is that something that I could ask it to do through the program? Or would that be a really heavy modified program? Oh, it'd be heavy. You'd have to modify the program, the software. But you can certainly tell it to steer itself towards the sun, for example. All right. Do we want to see if I can make a, a robot routine called Yeet Thyself and see if it will execute it? Well, is there a current routine that would take it not out, not... Not to snow. There's another place, isn't there? There's a planet or something. A gas Venturi. body. That's the Venturi, Yeah. That's the gas giant. Yeah, maybe there. You could take it to to set its distance to Venturi as zero. Well, I mean, that's basically it's 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 the same type of from a game mechanic point of view. It's the same type of it's the same type of role, same type of um, same type of um, 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 effect. Whether you steer yeah. it into deep space, the sun, or Venturi, it doesn't make a difference. I suggested the sun only because I'm thinking, you know, not much is going to survive the heat of the heat of the sun. No, that's as good. far as you're aware. Yeah, that's good. Would it have, so enough, that... would it have enough gas to propel itself away from the gravity of Snowball and Venturi, and actually? Well, the, it's it's effectively okay. The center of snowball 
is point zero is zero zero g. Okay. Uh huh. All right. The distillation plant, which is three and a bit kilometers from the center of Snowball, is at about point two. Give or take gravity. Yeah. So the dock would be about point one, and the snow mine would be under point one. All right. So the only reason there's gravity at all is because it's spinning. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't really need a lot of energy to. No. To. Uh, well, no. And you and you're already and you're already in orbit around Ventry on a very long on a very long elliptical orbit. So even if even if you just get it uh, headed towards the sun, eventually the sun's gravity is going to pick it up and pull it in, isn't it? True. Or yeah, the okay. planet, or wherever you want to send it. I don't, you know. I like the sun. Yeah. Not that, uh, please don't make me do an astrogation roll to uh, plot that course, because I can't help. Um, oh, you can. It's just going to be give a penalty to you. <laughs> you don't uh, have but... to plot a course. All you have to do is tell it to go to the brightest light in the sky. But yeah, well, that, uh, could backfire. It, that could backfire on you. If it yeets itself yeah. out of snowballs and Venturi's gravity, it will eventually end up to a bad place. So, but that's good enough for me. Um, Fair enough. I, I actually don't think that we would have the capabilities to properly, like, calculate that trajectory. Like, um, the, and the robot would know how to do it. Well, so no, the robot, be, the robot would be up. To, yeah, it certainly, it certainly wouldn't. It certainly wouldn't. As far as the as far as, um... but all you have to do is well, you identify you have... the sun as a and have it try, move towards it. You've got the you've got the nav computer in the shuttle down on deck seven. True. It would have the necessary software and so, so, so I'm interfacing computers between the uh, the star dot computer and the uh, shuttle computer. No, not necessarily. You can if you want to, but it's just as easy to do the calculations on the on the shuttle computer than um, put them into your software program on the uh, robot maintenance computer, robot management computer. Oh, okay. So those calculations are precise enough that they don't need autonomous recorrection. Probably not. I mean, let's put let's put it this way: a sun is pretty big. You're not. You're not actually trying to. You, you, it's not an interstellar. It's not an interstellar distance. It's intrastellar. It's within the solar system. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it, as long as long as you're reasonably close, you know, within a few degrees, uh, a, a few arc degrees, um, or even a few arc minutes, better way of saying it, um, you should the the gravity should take the sun's the the star's gravity should take over, and pull it in. Yeah, I guess fair enough. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah, astro I mean, the astrogation skill technically is from star star system to star system. We're talking from planet. We're to talking sun, astrophysics. Yeah, we're not yeah. talking astrogation. Yeah. Yeah, that type I, of thing. I've well, just played. I've just played enough Kerbal Space Program to realize that my puny human brain is not very good at this <laughs> kinds of physics. <laughs> Yours or cats? Actually, that's true. Cat would be better than I am, but my my brain is not very good at these things. Yeah, it's only, it's, it's it's simple four dimension. It's simple four dimensional geometry is what it is. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. I don't find it too hard actually, depending on what, how exactly what I'm trying to do. But then again, I've been accused of being a geek. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, look. Um, uh, uh, it is technically still an astrogation role. Um, it's a very easy one to make, though. Um, but you don't have astrogation, so I'm going to put a bit of a penalty back onto it. Um, um, I mean, I do have physics and I do have computer yes. skills, so if yes. I had the right computer, it's probably yeah. okay. But um, That's what I'm thinking, which yeah. is why I mentioned it to you in the first I have so a, is that, it, I have a on. calculator. My body comp can do that. Uh, body comp can assist with that. I don't know that can yeah, I've that. I've got the calculator for the physics equations. So yes, so um, that's not a bad idea if you want to lend cat your body. Yeah, well, if you want to assist cat with the body with your body comp or lend cat your body comp. Yeah, it um, I think it's like it's plus ten. Yeah, 
I th it does a lot more than just. Yes, I, I, I already have a calc wall, so and I believe that's the project. No, I have the calc boost. Mm. Well, there's no reason why you can't eject the, the calc boost ca uh, calc boost cartridge and lend it to Cat. Yeah, mine's assuming... mine's the Type D project. Yeah, assuming uh, Cat's yeah. body comp can handle it. Yeah, no, I have the King Pack, so. Oh yeah, you can handle it. <laughs> you got, have you got a slot free? Yeah. Yeah. I do. Okay. So any any other any other anyone got any other bits and pieces that might help out? Any other skills or pieces of equipment? Only the computer program stuff that I've got. Okay. Did you happen to take it? Did you happen to take an astrogation program? As one you've learned? No. I didn't think so. No starship skills, yeah. Well, it doesn't mean you can't have a starship program learned. It just means you haven't got no starship uh, skills. No. I could try to hypnotize him into thinking he knows it. <laughs> well, boost his confidence. That might help. Certainly couldn't hurt. Are you willing to be hypnotized, Cat? Uh, I don't know. I think I'd be careful how you answer this. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if I was a true skeptic, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Give me your sort of homeopathy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know whether she would, she would, uh, jump into that kind of thing or not i think she would probably be a skeptic so maybe yes if she if she can be proved wrong then that is a scientific duty so go for it babu well here's the question babu what's your full name babu johnson, johnson. do me a favor babs yeah mm -hmm. Type, type in the chat box slash WGM, will you? And then hit enter. Slash W. Space GM. GM. Capital GM. GM in caps. Yeah, thank you, Cat. I don't want you. I want him. Not working? Yeah, yeah, it's working. Oh, hold on. No, you, you're mis matching that login. You, what, you're under capital, deluxe cap Oz, aren't you? No, I said slash W, capital G, capital M. Wait, you want that in... Chat. Now, yes, please. Yeah, damn it. I'm watching the chat over there. I'm trying to punch that into Twitch. No, no, don't on the Twitch. <laughs> no, into the into sorry, into into FG chat. Yeah. Uh it was the Risper recipient not found. Really? That's interesting. Maybe add some tets after it, so there we go. Yeah, there it is. Yep, had to have text on it. So I'm just playing around. You know, after all this, it's probably not worth it. Actually, one of the things I was thinking about was with everything that you've seen and done oh, Doc, in all these things. You're going to stuff that up on me. 
I'm anyway. not reading what you typed. I have no, no idea but, what you said. Yes. Oh, see, I'm I'm hitting slash R because I couldn't I couldn't find uh, Babu's in the system, so I just hit slash R. But you jumped in, so the slash R went to you. Don't do that. Anyway, all good. Spam, spam, spam. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's stop this. Um, so what? So what's the general plan? We're going. Are you cat? Are you going down to the shuttle on deck seven? Are you taking the uh, calc boost with you? And are you getting hypnotized? I think that was the last set of things. I think. Um, I mean, I think I get the impression that with the Astrogation computer, I probably don't need to steal folks' cup boost. Well, I just provide plus 10. Plus 10 to what? What am I actually Calculate. calculating when it comes to inputting into the Astrogation? Well, I, it's, I, I, it's, I figured it's at a... that point I'm, I'm, I'm adding a, like entering a coordinate and the Astrogation... So uh, yeah, not it's not quite. The, it, it's technically, technically, technically. Physics. Um, it's system. It's a system. It's an astrogation system navigation role. All right. I'm just looking that up in my skill sheet. Yes. Chart new route, find location, wrist jump, system navigation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, but you need a computer with the, with the right software on it to do it. The shuttle does have a piece of that software, primitive, but it, it is. It's only a level one. It's only a very level one system because it's a shuttle. It doesn't need much. But then again, no. you don't need much either. Yeah. But but the, will but will the ten percent bonus help? Considering you don't have system navigation technically, and I'm going to put yeah, a penalty okay. on so, it for so, you. So so there's enough pre-calculations in this game mechanic-wise. That oh, the, yeah. the calc boost would actually do a thing. Could help, yes. Okay, well then I will ask Vogue for his project and see if yep. I can borrow it. Okay, now are you getting hypnotized for your confidence level or not? I'm willing to try anything. Yeah. Right. Babu, do you want to give me, you want to give me a hypnotism roll against Cat, please? All right, you can add an extra plus ten. Because your confidence has been boosted that much. All right. So roll it with a plus twenty, and I'll put a put on a penalty. Now what am I rolling here? Am I rolling a? Because I think um, system navigation. Uh, Investigation chart new route. No, it's system navigation. What is the oh. what is the the level one percentage of that? Because I have I have nothing in there at the moment, so I don't have a percentage. Ah, uh, yes, I know. Uh, good question. Um, very good question. Give me a second. I have that in front of me. In I assume it's, I assume of a it's a logic. It's a percentage based on logic. But... Uh, it sounds about right. Um, pilot. No, I don't want pilot. Astrogation. System investigation, find location, did. chart new route, uh, system navigation. Uh, base fifty percent of logic. Of logic. Yeah, okay. sorry, logic. Yes, it's a logic role. It's a half your. It's half your logic as per. Yeah. All right. So seventy-five divided by two. 38 since Thank we you. round up that's right so 58 uh what it plus whatever penalties i put on it yeah i don't need any penalties i don't want to put that many penalties on it <laughs> so you have you after a couple of hours work you have um what you think is some pretty good um astrogation routes enough to get the robot to the sun or at least on the way to the sun to be picked up by the gravity of the sun. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So heading back up to <laughs> Snowball, mm -hmm. uh, you need to uh, do um, the manipulate programs to manipulate the program to actually do the work of getting that stuff in. 100. No, oh, 50 is fine. Okay, so you've got the program set up. Again, it takes several hours to do this. You've got the program set up. Now you've got to send the command out. 
and hopefully the robot will will obey it. Uh, so an operate for that one? Uh, yes, please. No, actually, it's a manipulate programs again. Sorry, but that's okay. Either way. Um, so the robot doesn't move for about a minute or so, and then uh, pivots on its jets and heads off out into um, space. Nice. Or not nice if it doesn't actually reach the sun and reaches the populated thing. But there is the, no populated thing. The, the likelihood of that is infinitesimally small. So yes, I think we're is. good. You're good. All right. He got the okay. order of I should probably eat myself. And did so. <laughs> so that is good. <laughs> probably. Well done. Um, so um, look, you've got um, the relationship uh, according to. According to Ellen, Ellen, the uh, the relief ship's not due for several weeks yet, um, but it looks like you're pretty well clear. Um, you know you've got um, an infected maintenance computer on deck. Um, deck, 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 deck. Five. Five. No, it's not five. It's no, it's deck somewhere else. Three. It's four, I think. It's four. It's deck four. Um, hang on, before you do that roll, um, uh, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. I'll remember it. I oh, know. Before you do that roll, um, um, you say you you know you've got a make you now you've got a, a an infected computer. The, uh, the MMT is still infected, and you're pretty sure um, you're not too confident about the snowball. Um, the uh, the um, the MSD computer up on snowball. But all the others you're pretty sure of. So over the next couple of weeks, as you're waiting, I'm assuming you guys are going to be doing checks on these computers to to see if they remain free of infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sort of daily sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Well, if you give me give me half a dozen rolls each for uh, for maintenance. Do you want just a half a dozen repair rolls? Yeah, half a dozen yeah. repair rolls. I don't know if we can check again on Frosty's corpse to see. What happened to Frosty? Um, you haven't checked Frosty's corpse yet. Do you want to do that? Yeah, that's a good idea. Now that we All know right. a bit. Well, that's a that's a robot make that's a robot um, repair role because she's a robot. I'm gonna bring her back to life. She's also partly organic, and the organic parts died dead. She was a cybot, remember? Yeah, I didn't repair her. No, do you want to? Do you want to have a go, Vogue? I don't have robot skills. Oh, well, don't you? Okay. Well, it's something you can do now. That you've got um, a couple of weeks before this happens, um, with um, all the checks and that you're doing, everything seems clear. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you some experience points out. Okay. You can spend those as you like because there's plenty of teaching material in the computers. There's plenty of um, practice area in M25. Uh, on deck six and things like that. So if you want to do some training, uh, including training up your robot skills and your computer skills to have another crack at the things you've missed in the next couple of weeks, I'm quite okay with that. All right? Does anyone have any objections? Nope. Nope. Oh, I am an experienced oh. horror. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Doc. All right. Um, well done, guys. You've effectively uh, effectively finished things off. You've just got a, a little bit of tidy up to do before the uh, the ship arrives. Um, so I'm going to give you each um, thirty experience points, three zero. Uh, that's oh. for uh, you weren't one hundred percent successful. It's not the maximum you could have earned, but you did some. There was some good role playing, some good ideas, um, and so um, for the that this is for the entire adventure up to this point in time. Okay. So if you guys would like to spend those um, as you will. Um, what is uh, Bab? Sorry, what is... Babu. Right before you go, right before you go, Babu, can I just have you in the private room for a second? All right. User left your channel. Babs is in trouble. What uh, is um with the technology PSA? Is uh, robotics won three experience points? Four. Four, I believe. 
for? Will it? I thought military was one, tech was two, and the other was four. But I, I don't remember. That might be a little too low. I thought it was three, four, five sets. Maybe. I don't. I'm looking at page 40 of the rules. It says three, four, and five. Good look up. So he didn't give us the experience yet, right? No, he did. You have 30. to type it on, on your own sheet. Uh, how much? 30. 30. 3 oh, zero. Okay. 3 zero. Okay. I was trying to find where um, Jazz keeps it. It looks like uh, Matt's Star Frontiers website's not quite up yet. Uh, does anybody know what com what uh, Computer Six is in terms of XP? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Oh, just four times six. So twenty-four. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, was... for, for level six is twenty-four. Cool. I was worried that it was thirty-two. Sorry, Cat. What were you saying? Uh, yeah, I was wondering what Computer 6 was for me, but I think uh, everybody said it was 24, so that's easy. I'm now Computer uh, 6. You're now Computer 6. You're now Computer 6. I'm that was take... Cat. Yeah. Hang on, that was Computer 6. Hey, that was 24 points, you said. Correct, so yeah. I'm on tech 10 XP remaining after uh, that. Just, just hang on a sec, guys. Sorry, Dad just came in. Um, you got me? Yes. Yeah, no, I just wasn't sure if I was still on mute or not. Um, yeah, okay. Um, so what are, what's everybody else spending their points on? Tech 6. Uh, you're going Tech 6, are you? It's going to cost you 24 points as well. And then what uh, is uh, Computer hang on, 2? Hang on, hang on, hang on. 24, 16. Computer, well, you can't go Computer 2. You can only go Computer 1. Oh, you unless you're already computer. You've already got computer one, haven't you? Yep. Um, uh, eight points. Yeah. What's a Starship Engineer one? I have the prerequisites. Hang on, 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 hang on. Slide down, slide down, slide down, slide down, slide down, slide down. Um, yeah, so Cerise, you're, you're going computer two, are you, Cerise? Yep. Right. Are all the uh, computer skills such that uh, adding one level is just a 10% to everything? Yes. Because some works. aren't, right? Like medical isn't or something? Uh, there no, there no, are some not. exceptions, yeah. Yeah, it's generally the spaceship skills are the, are the exceptions. Generally. Uh, what do I say? 1270. Okay. Um, you, you can't do engineering, mate. No, no engineering allowed. Okay. Not, no, not now. Not, not, not at the moment. Well, um, I'll take robotics one then. I, I thought you said. I thought you said. Well, we're, 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 we're back up. Hang on. Sorry, just back up a bit. One. I thought you said you had the prerequisites for a spaceship engineer. Yeah, I do. But you gave us thirty experience points. No. Yeah, so yeah. I but hang get... on. What, 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 hang on. What do you think you need for engineering skill? Uh, Starship Engineer is Engineer 4, Technician 2. No, it's not. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, that was, that, okay, that's me, that's me stuffing up. Uh, and, uh, Tech Level 1 for a Tech PSA, is that 4? Yes. Yes, it uh, is. Would it be okay if I took Robotics 1 to be a Chief... A, a deputy uh, robotics disabler. 
Uh, by all means, uh, yes, because you've got a roboticist to help you. I mean, you've got something to help teach you as well. So, yeah, that's no problem at all. What about Starship Pilot? How many is Again, that? None of, can I do that? No, none of the Starship skills are available at this point. Okay. But how much is it? So I uh, it's normally, it. it's, it, uh, I wouldn't bother saving anything at the moment if I were you. I'd spend all your points if I were you. Okay. But to answer your question, 10. I don't know. I thought Kat was going to go back and watch that computer with the astrogation tutorial on it and then be an astrogator after the end of this campaign. Possibly. <laughs> possibly not. Um, as I said, um, to answer your question, it's 10, Cerise, but I wouldn't bother. I would I would spend your points if I, if I was you. Okay. But that's just me. Um, Doc, you were saying you went to level six? No, med five, bio one. Oh, med five, bio one. Uh, med, well, uh, the bio, the you're a biologist, so bio one's only five points. Yep. Um, and med five should be twenty five points by my calculation. That's right, thirty points. Okay. Um, what about so? What do you so? That's your okay. So Doc spent. Um, Jazz, we're obviously going to leave for the time being because it's let, I'll let him make that decision. Uh, Babu, you're spending your points on what apart from what we've discussed? Uh, haven't figured that out yet. Uh, when you do, let me know. You two, Cerise, you two, Cat, you two, Vogue. What, Cat? What? I just what spent, is... I just oh. spent uh, 28 points. Oh, on, on computer six and robotics one. Okay, you don't want to spend the last two points on something else. Uh, no, I'm good. Don't want to put up your stamina or anything else like that. Uh, my stamina is already pretty high. It's like sixty or something. So yeah, it's only sixty. Uh, and I've already done the min maxing upgrading my reaction speed by one point to get an extra inif initiative. There's not a lot of things that I can spend points on. Okay. You don't want to, you, you don't want a stamina of 62? That's up to you. Folk will also go to Engineer 5. You, weren't you Engineer 4? Yeah, sorry, weren't you? In, yeah, you've only gone up one level, right? Yeah. I'm at yeah, engineer okay. four right now, so yeah, I'll you're gonna use go five. Twenty experience points to go up to five. Mm, yes, you will. Is a uh, second level of uh, the tech PSA eight? Yes, yes it is. It's, yeah, okay, yeah, good. But you yeah. can, only, you, but you, you can, you can only go up one level per per session per thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess it, I, I'm wondering whether it's worth like. With the locks that we come up against, Ceres and Folk, is having an extra person with a level one in technician actually really useful for us or not? Uh, uh, it's, it seems like the higher level locks really own a lower level tech, and you need to be kind of high level to deal with it. Well, it's not just locks, don't forget. It's also drive, driving vehicles, ground vehicles. Yeah. Uh, and things like that. So, um, And you get paid not, a little not, more. It's, yeah, well, yeah, pay them more anyway. Um, it's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just uh, wondering because I just took robotics for the like the the grunt level robotics duties. Maybe taking because like, I got six extra XP. Taking tech one would be easy for me. Uh, I just don't know. Evoke, are you like level one or level two? I'm level tech? two. And you're still like. I'm at 85 on lock, so if it's a yeah. level 6 lock, I have a 25% chance. Ugh. Cerise yeah. picks pretty much everything. And yeah, I think Cerise so has 100. Yeah, and that, that's kind of what you'd expect. Like, you you wouldn't want all the locks being picked by a level 1 tech. No, but it's not, but, bad, for back, it's, it's not bad for backup. And if, as I said, it, it'll give you a, a third option for vehicles. Yeah, I think that, the, things the, like the, that the vehicles is what pushes that over. So yeah, I guess I'll spend an extra four points on uh, uh, Tech One as well. Cool. Yeah, and I think Ceres just went to Tech Six, so yes, should be did. a lot 
easier for locks too. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yes. Yeah, um, I was debating. Uh, you did. In, we've got engineer. We've got computer. So we've got all those skills. You got robotics. You got engineer. You got computers. I mean, I mean, if you're looking for something, um, weapon well, skills can, uh, are all. Weapon skills are always are always important, uh, as as is obvious. Um, I don't know. Does anyone have demolitions? I can't. I, I can't jazz. recall one way or the other. Jazz, jazz does. does. Yeah. There you go. Um, and for that matter, you can pick up some of the sciences we don't have if you wanted to go that route. I think with Doc just picking up bio, we actually have at least a level one in every science now. Do you have some? Has someone got environmentalism? Ah, uh, yeah, that Not one. Yet. That'll be next for me. Yeah, okay. the, uh, that's and that, that's a that's a mat special, isn't it? That's not actually part of the Star Frontiers rule set. Environmentalism? No, that actually yeah. is not a mat special. That's actually a standard skill. Oh, really? It's such a weird place for. Okay. Well, I think the idea was in the original game design that it was for planetary exploration. Yeah. Because it's got things like survival. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. analyze ecosystem and things like that in it. It's the psionics that is the mat special. It's the psionics that, that, is, that is, <laughs> well, even if even that's not a mat special, it, it was a set of it was a set of um, optional rules put out by um, um, put out by one of the one of the fiends, and it got a semi uh, a semi authorized yeah. it got a semi authorized thing from TSR right at the death of TSR. So yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we don't have any psionic skills. I mean, but again, I don't think it's something you can learn right now. Um, <laughs> it's, no, I, you, 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 I, you would need some training, is what I'm saying in that. And definitely. I use I use Sai as my dumb stat, so you know, a lot definitely, of definitely, Cat is not going to be able to do that. Yeah, but that's okay. But I'm saying as a general a general rule, there's no reason why a, I mean, Sai skill. I mean, there are some restrictions. You need at least a Sai of sixty. Yeah. Um, but it's, there's no reason why you why with a bit of training you couldn't pick up some size skill. Yeah. Uh, you only, you, you, you obviously are obviously a lot more restricted because you're not you're not a dedicated um, psychop, uh, scientist. Sorry, <laughs> I've been watching Double <laughs> Five. Yeah. Yeah. That's Guy Ray, two, that was for you, was it? Okay. Now, what I was what I was trying to whisper uh, Babu about and end up whispering Doc instead was um, when we're talking about um, uh, hypnotizing Cat to help her imp help improve her skill. Well, I, I said, make her think she's a chicken. What Babu <laughs> hypnotized Cat with something else? <laughs> well, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. She should do. Instill jazz with the. Uh... Mental fortitude not to shoot Babu ever again uh, when shooting in the melee. That would be um, awesome, that would be an awesome bonus to confer to Jazz Babu. You should have done this already. <laughs> uh, there's no reason why you could. There's no reason why you couldn't. Every time Jazz goes to shoot towards anything that's near me, he he, he just can't pull the trigger. Yeah, there's certainly, there's certainly things. There's certainly something you can do if you wanted to do that. <laughs> In fact, if you wanted to do that make the, and, and make the role now, and as part of that, make Jazz forget that it was done, I, I won't have to tell Thomas. <laughs> Although he'll probably pick oh, it up no. on the video. He'll watch, he'll watch this video and hear me talking. Damn. Oh, can we recharge our belt packs and whatnot while we wait? Oh, yeah. Uh, days. Yeah, of course you can. Of course you can. Of course you can, of course you can, of course you can. Um, do you want to give me that uh, those two that that repair role for the computer that you know is buggered, Cat? Now you've upped your computer skill. I'll take the first one. Yes. And and um, during your checks, you also realise that the Snowball Dock computer is still infected. Nice. I'll give you another repair roll. Yes, please. If you can give me technically, you can give me 
there we go. Um, and you also know from your mapping of software, we should know uh, that the uh, Snowball dock computer has got a link back to the um, MSM computer. SM is the star system. No, it's snowball monitoring. The snow snowball monitoring. Oh, snowball monitoring. Yeah, that was the one on the flight deck, right? That was the, the uh, MSM. Computer. MSM. No, it's from Terminal Seven, basically. Hang on, I, I haven't got the map up. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, that uh, was that. That was that extra one that we found in M four. Yes. Yeah, I, I I had that in my notes as. Uh, Starship monitoring, but snowball monitoring. No, snowball monitoring, sense. but that's okay. Makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so there, there was connection between the two. So you might want to give the snowball monitoring computer another thorough going over. Yeah, let's do that. No, it's clean. Mm, okay. Did you want me to check anything? Oh, I mean, I think you should probably always check. Check my repairs for the Starship Dock one and the uh, checking dock one. of the SM, MSM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're perfectly fine as far as Cerise is concerned. So those would be in the same order that Cat did them. Yeah. Um, the other ones, you, the other thing you wanted, you were going to do, uh, did you, if you put your robot, if anyone put their robot skill up, you can check out um, the Astrogator bot, the, the Cybot. You were going to do that at one stage. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what my chances are. I don't know what the robotics repair uses in terms of ability scores. Well, Cerise can answer that one for you. Well, I mean, it's very hard to figure out from your character sheet. Yeah, that was I'm something I was going to ask you for after. Um, I believe your son is asking you and how you work out the um, robot mate, the robot repair role. I don't know what the formula is. is. Yeah, he's good. It's based off of... uh, no, if it's not. Hang on, let me see if I can... No, that's not what I wanted. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm looking at page 45 and 46 from the core book. Yeah, it's not the core book. That's the point. Yeah, we use uh, we use different formulas for calculating it. Like, engineer isn't in the yeah. core book. No, it's in, the, it's in the Zebulon's Guide, though, from memory, which is a supplement supplementary book. Uh, which is why I've put it all together. Give me a second, I'll find it for you. Hang on, there is what I'm looking for. Um, web server, sites, Star Frontiers, skills. Oh, yeah. Skills, 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 skills. All, skills. all these uh, web which one you assets listen for? that we can't access through the internet. Yes, I know, because I've got the, I'm still trying to get this damn server <laughs> sorted out. Um, the act, okay, Oops. robot skills. You ready for these? these people who want them? Uh, okay, so how are you going to, just before you start reading them out, how are you going to read them out? You're going to read them out as formulas? I'm going to uh, read them. Uh, okay, activate, deactivate, success rate 100%. Uh-huh. Add equipment, success rate 100%. Uh-huh. Alter functions, half logic, plus 35%. Yeah, hang on. Let me get my text editor out. <laughs> your text editor? Why do you need text editor? Because, I mean, yeah, I just need to type it out. Uh, so what are we talking about? Uh, this is the alter function? Yes. It's half your logic plus 35%. Plus skill level? Plus your skill level. And that's skill level plus times ten percent, right? Yeah, it is. I just don't bother saying it. It's just yeah, because it's always it's always skill level times ten percent, unless I say otherwise. Okay, cool. Alter mission. 
is half logic plus 25% plus skill level. Yep. Identify. Was that word? No, identify is half logic plus 75% plus skill level. Mm -hmm. List functions is half logic plus 65% plus skill level. Mm -hmm. Remove security locks. Is one quarter bracket dex plus logic end bracket <whistles> plus forty five percent plus skill level. So one quarter dex plus logic. Yeah. So add your dex, oh, add, wow. your dex and your, yeah. add your dex and your logic together and divide by four. Yep. And then what was the other addition? The plus four plus forty five percent. Okay. Plus skill level. Yep. And repair logic is the same as remove security lock, only it's plus fifteen percent, not forty five percent. Repair includes dexterity, I guess that's soldering. I fucking hate yeah. soldering. Yeah, that's what it's repair that's what it does. Now, did anyone else pick up some new skills they wanted? To do? Because I've got it in front of me if you want them. Uh, did someone someone no. picked up technical technician, didn't they? Oh, yeah, that was me. Anyone else pick up a but, skill like that? So repair was one quarter dex plus logic plus fifteen percent plus skill level. Correct. If you want to do the tech ones, I'm ready. Okay. You deactivate alarms defenses is exactly the same as the other one I just gave you. Half dex, sorry, quarter dex plus logic plus 15 plus skill. Wait, that's deactivate is logic and debts. Uh... Divided by four plus 15%. Okay. Yep. Detect alarm defenses is half logic plus 35 plus skill. Yep. Open locks. A quarter dex plus logic plus 25 plus skill. A quarter dex plus logic plus what? Twenty five percent plus skill. Yep. Operate machinery. Is a quarter reaction speed plus logic plus twenty five plus skill. Yep. Repair machinery is a quarter dex plus logic plus 15% plus skill. And last but not least. And repair was 15%? Yes, it was. Good. Yep. Sabotage equipment. is a half logic minus 15 plus skill. Cool. Anyone got any other skills they want me to go through while I've got them here? No, I'm just making sure, make sure everybody, your hot bar does not automatically update. So make sure you update your anything you have on your hot bars. 
What was um, open locks again? Was it a quarter? That's Dex a quarter logic, logic, and then plus twenty five percent. Twenty five percent. Yeah. Do you want that biology stuff, Doc? Paul. Paul. Paul, 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 Paul. And then no. operate was uh, reaction speed logic plus 25. 25. Yeah, I'm here. I just had to wait for a minute. That's all right. Um, did you want the biology skills, mate? Sure. Okay, so you analyze biological samples. Yeah. Is half your logic plus 25% plus your skill level? Okay. Biology is half logic plus five percent plus skill level. Okay. Botany is half logic plus 35% plus skill level. What was the percent again? 35. Okay. Exobiology is half logic minus five plus skill level. Okay. And zoology is half logic plus 35% plus skill level, same as botany. Thank you. Anyone else? Nope. 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 Okay. Um, anyone got any questions? Quick questions, no? I am pretty good. What was the name of the uh, expansion you talked about? Uh, Zebulon's Guide, mate. But don't go looking for it. We're playing a variation of the of the rules because it's it, it, with what was happening with TSR back in the day. Um, it got very very disjointed when they got per when they got purchased out by Hasbro or Wizards of the Coast, which is now Hasbro. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff that did that didn't that didn't gel properly between different semi versions. So this is one reason I went through and did up the website. Now, unfortunately, the website's down at the moment, which is why the rules are all on the website, because I went through and streamlined them all, which is why it's the Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks game, which is a variation of the original Star Frontiers game. That was just curious. Yeah, no, that's yeah, cool. Zebulons has a lot of the equipment and stuff that Matt has on his website, but they redid skills. They did redid the whole. Yeah, it's almost like a version. System and... It's almost like a version two. You know, of the original game. So, um, but yeah, but it, but in addition to all that, there's a lot of there's a lot of fan stuff that I've incorporated that works well, and I left out some stuff that didn't. So, which is why, as I said, it, it's um, Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks is just opposed to Star Frontiers. Um, but that's okay. Um. Got to go for a quick bathroom break, guys. Yeah, five minutes. 
Yeah, Sounds yeah. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna yeah, go grab see. something to snack on. Okay, I'm back. Everyone back? Or are we still, everyone still away? I think so. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm here. You're here. Kai's here. Uh, Babu? Yep. What was the plus one for? On that last one. That was my level. There was a dice next to that. And I'm wondering why it was there. Yeah. Um, you know it's ten percent, not one percent, don't you? Oh yeah, but it's still level one. Yeah. Not as long as you know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I never claim to know what I'm doing, but Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> so. I had all these skills um, written out already. I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, where were they? Uh, in my uh, spreadsheet, my character sheet spreadsheet that I created ages ago. But I didn't yeah. fill in all the formulas for the stuff that I didn't have. So they were just written down in text. But yeah. Cool. Uh, dear, dear, dear. Do you think that I wouldn't have a spreadsheet? Who do you think I am, Matt? <laughs> you should be. It, uh, what surprises me is not you got a spreadsheet. Is what surprised me is it's not in the fantasy ground system. That's not surprising. I'm lazy. I, I yeah, want well, a min. I want a min max, but with the least effort possible. <laughs> you want to min your matching, do you? It, it, have you ever met a min maxer that wasn't lazy? It's all about efficiency. It, 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 min maxing <laughs> is not about efficiency. <laughs> min maxing is about munchkinism. <laughs> You're a feels munchkin. Like, what feels are you? like we have an ideological difference here. Yeah, most, GM, a... <laughs> most GMs and munchkins do. 
<laughs> no, look, I don't care if you, I don't care if you mean Max. Go for your life. It just leaves. It just means um, it leave you leave um, gaping holes in your in your character sheet in your characters for the GM to exploit. Yeah, that's fine. Not that the, there's not really a lot of opportunity in Star Frontiers for that. So no, not really. No, it's a pretty. It, it well, it's a it's a first generation game. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's probably probably closer with what Alpha Hawks is probably closer to second gen. Yeah, um, the rules are a bit too to archaic make. to min max. Oh no, the rule well min maxing first came up in D and D first D and D first edition and Traveler first edition, and they were the first two RPGs out there. So um, min maxing's been around for <laughs> since day one. Um, in that regard. But no, as I said, it's, it's a first generation or call it a 1.5 generation game with the changes I've made. But when you're talking the modern fourth generation games, like stuff like Shadowrun Third Ed or um, uh, uh, D&D 3, Pathfinder, things like that. I find uh, there's a lot of opportunity for munchkinism. <laughs> yeah, well, the same you get, and, and you do the same thing in, three point, in D&D 3.5 as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, three actually, five I... is where I know men matching from with so many different yeah. source books. It's yeah, yeah, and that's one of the reasons. See, the thing is, it, um, Star Frontier third edition Star uh, Shadowrun can be a bit like that too, but again, um, it, it, it's it, it's you want to you, you you don't want to min max in Shadowrun. You want to you want to specialize, and it, I mean it's a subtle difference, but it is a difference. Um. You really don't want to leave yourself open. You, you, you don't want to minimise in terms of min-maxing in Shadowrun because you will you will get the bullet in the backside, shall we say? Um, but some other games, uh, Rune Quest Three, it's good, a really good second ed, second ed, a second generation game. You can min-max that one quite nicely without too much trouble. Um, Golden Heroes you could do that with too, but then again, Golden Heroes is, was a superhero game. Um, and it, the superhero games almost by definition are min-maxing games. You know what I mean? Um, paranoia. Was, you couldn't really min-max para, not Paranoia. Um, Cthulhu, you couldn't really min-max properly. Um, you could specialise, but again, you, you know. Um, how do you view, how do you view, view min-maxing in Deadlands, Ben? Uh, I mean, I, I, I think you're, when I say min-max... You think like full munchkin, and I just mean get the most optimal thing for my theme, character theme. And I think with Deadlands, I think I've done pretty well with optimizing for my character theme. Yeah, well, see, I, I, again, it's a, it's a very small step from optimization to munchkinism in my mind. Yeah, but I started. But with you the haven't. Theme. You, but I, you I haven't. Started, I, yeah, I started with a theme and got the yeah. most badass thing that would match that theme, and I think yeah. that has been very successful. Like I yeah. optimize in D and D, like my uh, my assassin rogue. I try to be the best assassin rogue I can be. I don't try to multi class and take feats from here and be this race so I can have all yeah. this and do all that. Yeah, I know. That's well, massing to me is taking everything into yeah. account and you're right that but that that's that's munchkinism or min maxing to the to the extreme specialization optimization if you prefer that term ben um or optimization is specialization taken to the next step i mean if you don't do that in some games like deadlands or shadow run three or um i can't even off the top of my head um you know you need to do that. I mean, you need to you need to specialize somewhat. You cannot be. I mean, you you don't want to specialize to the exclusive exclusivity of everything else. But you can't you can't be a jack of all trades in those games. Unless it's D and D, and you can be like a ridiculous bard that can do everything. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's because that one bard that has half proficiency in everything and every yeah, skill. I mean, they have half proficiency, which is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going over the top. That's going overboard. Anyway, is every, <laughs> everyone's back, yeah. Yeah, I think we are. Doc, you back? Oh, yeah. Yep, that's okay. And you're back too, Dan, I take it? Mm-hmm. Bad? Yep. Yep, good. Uh, I know Vogue and Kat are back. We've just been talking. Um, so, look, after a semi, after a, uh, uh, another couple of weeks, um, the rescue ship uh, or the relief ship um, arrives, um, takes you guys off 
uh, often uh, takes basically uh, um, Ellen and everybody back. Um, uh, you get paid. Um, and um, which is good. Oh, she's um, paying us too, right? Oh, well, her company will. Yeah, because um, we, we did a job for you I know, as well. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, let's call it that. Um, you're also asked to sign confidentiality agreements. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Uh, Babu, I mean, you're pretty good at lawyer stuff. Can you see if there's any holes in this and whether we can uh, still succeed with our other goal? Or are you just commerce? Are you not law? Oh, well, commerce would count. Business and politics, so... Yeah, it'd count. Yeah, that'd count. Can you go over these documents before I sign them? Because I feel like we can't sign them. Well, you don't sign them, you don't get paid. Yeah, but is there other payday bigger? I don't know. Given the amount of time we've been away and the travel time that we were getting paid for... Actually, we're dealing in bullshit corporate espionage. We can probably get away with it and just say... Yeah, I mean, we're getting paid for us. like Here's two and a paid. half to three months from the CDC at double pay rate. As long as, yeah, okay, so as long as we can go, here's my file comp, you just found this with all this stuff on it, I'm sorry <laughs> if that happened, I didn't disclose this to you, it's all good, just, you might want to have a look at what's on there, uh, it, that, that's fine, that's bending the you, truth. You, you might want to have a look at um, uh, what happened between Waymo and, um, and Uber. <laughs> But I mean, we're dealing with corporate corporate espionage here. Like, I think I think that our other employers have probably got big enough lawyers to to uh, to shield us from this bullshit. Um, probably. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Babu, do have a check, see if we are obviously fucked, or whether we can bend the rules a little bit here. Because I would really love a double payday. It'd be great. Unless you want to break the law. Or do both. It's not breaking the law, it's getting It's sued. breaking it's the probably... contract. Yeah. Well, it's breaking the Bre contract law. Breaking the law is fine with Cat, but getting sued is not. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you, you've, you've specified your level of... Your level of um, <laughs> well, as uh, long your level as... of ethics so well. <laughs> yeah. As long as we priority so well, yeah. are subtle about it with the CDC, we should be able to be fine. Be able to be fine. So, Babs, can you use that role, please? I think Cat uh, would yeah. like that. Finance, then. Uh, no, business, please. It's closer to business because it's, it's legal documents. Business, it's a legal, it's a legal there is business no document. Business. I thought you said you had business commerce. Yeah, finance. Oh. Hang on, where are we? Where's your school? I could also do politics, see if there's uh Oh, no, it wouldn't be po it's not a politician it's not that could help us. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, in that no, in that case, it, it's going to have to come under law. You're going to have to give me a law role, mate, which means you're going to have to do it um, with a penalty. Or I can buy a level of law. Or you can buy a level of law. <laughs> if you've got the points free, you can buy a level of law. I don't mind. Do you want to so do what that? What do these ones cost? Um, oh, those ones. I'm going to have to look that up because they're all, they're all different. Um, those non yeah. non anyways. Well, actually, what's thinking the... about doing that because that was That's one okay. of my concepts. Yeah, no, exactly. So I'm surprised you haven't. I'm surprised you didn't have it already. Actually, to tell you the truth. Well, the last time I spent my points getting the next level of poli sci. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, law, law skill. Um, um, well, that's the that's what it does where's the cost for it hang on um skills and i don't know if you have who would be better at it. i the know it fits is your soul, that's all no experience required just your soul yeah, sure. uh, four points mate for level one what's the success rate 
Uh, success rate for law is half logic plus 15 pl plus skill level. Half logic uh, plus 15? Do you have yes. logic, Babu? Don't be Only 60. Yeah, don't be nasty. Uh, you need to be a, a level. Plus level. level. Yeah, plus level, plus yeah, ten, ten, level times ten. Um, you uh, you need to be a uh, you need to have law at four before you can be an attorney. Just oh, as, well, just... that's that's pretty intense. Yeah, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, you know, paralegal. Well, well paralegals I, would be twos I, and threes. You know. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like and biologists. Like a, yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, oh, a it's lawyer. Just, it's just because Computer Three gave me uh, admission to the uh, Computer Society. Yeah, Biology Three does the same thing for the Biology Society. No, for you, you can join the Law Society at Level Three, but you can't actually be a lawyer, an attorney in front of a court. Oh, and, so uh, yeah, you mean barrister? A bar well, yeah, an attorney, as a barrister. Far as Australian terms go. Yeah, yeah. Because there's, yeah. I mean, there's plenty of shitty lawyers that do conveyancing and. Yeah, well, they, they would be level two and level three lawyers, but they're not, yeah, they're not yes. yeah, yeah. attorneys. Sorry, yeah. they're not, yeah. Yeah. That, and that's the difference. So level one, two is the paralegal, level two, three is a shitty lawyer. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I just thought, yep, yeah, cool. So, yeah. Um, so if you want to get, if you want to take that, and I just did, you did, there you go. Um, look, um, nice roll. Um it, it, yeah, look, it's a, it's a pretty standard non-disclosure agreement. Um, basically, don't get caught is what ba is Babu says. No? Okay. Don't get caught, caught is caught. fine. Yeah. yeah. And don't get and caught or if you get caught. caught right? Right? Yeah. If, you, or if you get caught, have bigger lawyers. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bigger lawyers. <laughs> oh, but, I mean, just, just, just going back a bit to the business about levels. You know you can't fly a... Um, a jet, a jet. You can fly. You can fly a helicopter at level two. You can't fly a air car until level four. You know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know. There's lots of yeah, so this machinery yeah. type roles. Yeah, that, that, yeah, exactly. Just making sure we don't. Anyway, um, so um, you sign the, you sign these agreements. Is that a yes? Yeah, let's sign it. Whatever. All right. Um, you get your first pay packet, which I'll give you. I'll just give you a total pay at the end. Um, you get your first pay packet. Um, a few days later, um, you meet up with the CDC for a debrief. Um, that takes two or three days, with all that they go through, because you talk, you talk to um, technical people, um, petroleum, yeah, you know, uh, biochem people. Um, you end up talking to a biologists about the matrix, um, and all the other bits and pieces. Um, so it actually takes quite a bit to go through. And everybody um, is appropriately scared that they should not go to that place without proper protocols. Yeah, they are now. Um, Good. Incidentally, a, a few weeks after you get back, um, um, a, a not very well publicized press relief is put out by, um, put out by, um, um, uh, by Kim. Um, uh, announcing the closure of uh, of uh, a what was hoped to once be a promising new um, biochemical um, uh, project, which is unfortunately didn't work out. Um, there's no further details. Um, incidentally, a couple of days later, um, the the uh, company um, um, producing the um, sapes um, does a bit of an advertising blitz. Um, to try and get some more um, more pilot projects for uh, use of SAPES instead of use of robots. Yeah. Don't know if you're interested in that, but there you go. Did you, did you see that uh, Elon Musk the other day was talking about um, monkeys with brain chips? Oh, um, God, was he? Yeah, oh, I'm like, shit, SAPES are real already in 2021. <laughs> movie. Yeah, I've seen that movie too, and, uh, and I saw the remake, and I saw the remake of the remake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, speaking, of, and it never of, turns out well. It never does. Speaking of remakes, you know the you know the famous film, The Maltese Falcon, the one with Humphrey Bogart in it. No, nope. I think it's Humphrey Bogart. One from about forty three. Yeah, it's a really yeah. good film. You know that was the second remake they did of that film, and yet it's the better, it's the best one, the most well known one of them of them all. Bit of movie trivia for you. 
Anyway. I'm kind of torn about the true, true grit. I really oh, they haven't done true grit. They done it again, um, have they? John Wayne in it, but uh, I think the latest one was actually a better portrayal of it. Really? I'll have to look it up. It looks like. Um, so yes. Um, listen. Um, how would you guys, as a bit of a, a bit of a, uh, um, a, um, oh, by the way. Um, so yeah, you, 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 you do all your stuff. Um, you do all your briefings and all that. Um, you end up getting paid uh, in these are total amounts from both both groups. Um, are you would you like to write this down, people? Yep. Babu, you end up with sixteen thousand credits. I only have twenty three thousand credits in my current bank. That's oh well, I won't, I, I won't bother paying you then. No, no, no. I I would like to get paid. <laughs> I thought you might. Um, so you get paid sixteen thousand credits, Babu. Cerise, you get thirteen thousand. And this is we get paid based on skills at the time of employment, not at the that's time. Right. Of yes. yeah. That's right. Yes. That's right. Savage. Savage. Uh, Doc, you get paid eleven thousand. Cat, you get. 15,000. Jazz gets 18,000. And Voke, you get 12,000. Uh, you may spend that as you wish because you've got some downtime in terms of um, what happens next. Do you think you'll have the website up soon so that we can? No. No. There's um. There are some. Uh, there's an old email that I have all the attachments, all the PDF files for that has all the equipment, projects. I might have robot stuff too. Yeah. Oh, um, yes, yeah, it has you, robot. Can you email that to everybody right now, please? Sure. Not me, of course. Not me, of course. Um, and if you guys, and if you guys, if there's something you can't find, let me know, and I'll see if I've I've got it here and thing. No, I've got I've got a problem with this. I've got a problem with the server, mate. Um, and until I can get the bloody server sorted out, I can't do anything with the website because it's I can't test anything. Understand. Uh, it's a pain. Look, it's a pain in the butt. I really is. It's I, it's been driving me nuts. I thought I'd have this sorted out a month ago. Um, but it's just with certain things that are happening in terms of non-IT and non-gaming in my life. It's just put a bit of a hold on things um, at the moment. I've just about got it sorted, I think. Um, I'm, I'm going to be spending a couple of hours tonight back into it. I'm going to be spending all day tomorrow doing it and try and get it sorted out. Trouble is, I've got a, twice a, twice a, uh, once a fortnight, I've got to go and um, have my blood taken for... Um, the medications that I'm on because of my kidney and that has to happen early in the morning and it, it wrecks me for the most of the most of the day in terms of just knocks me about I can't think properly I don't know why it does it but it does it probably because it's early in the morning and I, I'm not a morning person it's probably one of the reasons so that day is pretty much a write-off in terms of trying to get anything substantial done so there's one there's one day out of 14 that I don't do and I game twice so it's another two days so that's three days out of four I'm down to 11 days um before we start talking about you know taking care of business f you know grocery shopping and all the other stuff so it just i just put some crimp on things for me which is a pain in the butt but i'm working as quickly and as hard as i can when i'm not when i'm not doing stuff game wise no problem i was just curious yeah yeah no I, i'll get up as soon as i can mate i, I i'm i'm madly pushing forward with it as quickly quickly as i can just um, when you've got to rebuild a server, it's like, oh, for God's sake, not again. You've got to tear it down and rebuild. There's, there's two hours gone to do that properly. So, and before you ask, why aren't I doing it virtually? Because it's the virtual hosting server that I'm t tearing down and putting back together. Okay. Everyone but Matt should have gotten that. Yeah. So if you guys want to shop, let me know. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Um, you do need to take um, a reasonable amount of money out for living expenses over the next couple of weeks. Um, basically, let's call it, oh, look, let's call it two grand. 
that's accommodation, food, entertainment, having a piss up at the pub and all the rest of it, okay? Cool? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But yes, you may spend money on whatever you wish within reason. But after you spent your money and after a couple of weeks' time, you're going to get a phone call, okay? Yeah, we can spend that offline, that time offline. Oh, uh, yeah, if you want, I'd rather you did, I'd rather you did, I, 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 in case you want to buy something that's going to be a problem, I, I want to know about it. That's the only, re that's the only thing. Yeah, I want to do a body cop and then a robot. Hang on, hang on. A machine gun. Only if you get now, a machine gun's not a problem. You may buy a machine gun if you really, well, you really want to. What was, what were you saying, Cerise? I'm going to do a body comp and a and a robot. Yeah, no, that's no problem at all. Depend, well, the robot might be. What are you thinking of? Personal security. Yeah, no. I'd, I, look, there's no, um, there's no in-game reason why you, you shouldn't. There's an out-of-game reason I'd prefer you didn't. Yeah, I'm not looking for, a, you know, a combat robot. I'm no, looking no. for somebody to tag along with me and carry weight. And he would have uh, not, he, he would have the self-defense yeah. stuff. Yeah, no, as I said, there's no in-game reason why you shouldn't. There's an outer game reason I prefer you would prefer you didn't, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. Uh, sure. Nexus 7 pleasure model. Um, pretty, much, pretty much the same reason. I prefer you didn't. <laughs> And I mean, poor Jazz was uh, denied the opportunity to have some friendly times with uh, Frosty, so uh, y you shouldn't be uh, allowed to do the same. Mm. <laughs> that reminds me, you guys didn't give me your Frosty rolls, your Frosty robot rolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I know you nothing. wanted me to do that? You know nothing. <laughs> Which role did you want? A, re a robot repair. Robot repair. And if you put your oh, robotics up, did you put your, is that before or after you put your, your thing up? Your skill up? I didn't level up on robotics, only on technician. Oh, right, okay. Uh, Cat got robotics, so Cat would be the only other role. Mm hmm. My uh, chance is 61.25%. That's 61. Hey, we always round up 62. Thank All right, 62. Um, Kat, there is evidence of um, uh, matrix corruption in some of um, the circuitry of um, the astrogator. Cool. At this point, it's probably somebody else's problem. Oh, it is. I thought you'd give me information because you, you, know, you, you were entitled to it. So yes. Um, so does everybody want to shop offline, or you, or, or do you want to do it now? It's up to you. I don't mind which when you do it. I think the only thing that Cat's after is the master prog, uh, so so she can start programming her um, yeah. body comp. Yeah. I don't know how much that is though, because I don't have the uh, information. Well, can I you sent you an email, but a master comp is five thousand. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take five thousand off my thing. Right. Do okay. we want to do any vehicles, guys, or buy those at the next? I uh, can. It probably probably would not be worth your while at this point in time. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we, that, we, that also that also applies for large computers. Just out of interest, we we tend to get like pulled towards like different places that even even heavy weapons seem a bit. Uh, if we buy that, can we actually carry it places? Depends on where you're going. Um, yeah. But I said, I, yeah, Babu wanted a machine gun. I didn't have a problem with it, but it, but just don't go using it in public places. I mean, when you, know. you When you say machine gun, Babu, you mean a, a, a heavy weapon? Projectile weapon? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, it is. yeah. He, mean, he means a machine gun. <laughs> I know machine what he gun. means. All right. Uh, okay, MP42, cool. you know. Okay. Cat M60. Enjoy that MP42. 
Cat has three in projectile weapons, so that will be good for her. But the, the thing, the thing is, right? Pistols and um, non-vibrating swords and things like that are not that unusual. The bigger the capital city, like where you are at the moment, it's you know, frowned upon. The further you go out into the smaller systems and the smaller cities, the more likely you are to see rifles. It's unusual for someone to be lugging around a machine gun. Um, but, in the same way, it's unusual for someone to be lugging around a force axe, but it's not technically illegal. But it's one of those, it's one of those things where the law keeps a very close eye on you. But a, a, a sonic sword and a machine pistol is probably fairly accepted in most places. Yes, yes. Pistols, nice. are pretty, pistols are pretty well accepted. Um, rifles, just, depending on where you're going. Heavy weapons, you know. Yeah. Well, a list... it's just a uh, kind of like an ace up the sleeve type thing. It's a bloody big sleeve. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to pull it out all the time, but sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need it. Yeah, so heavy weapons like machine guns, like missile launchers, like grenade launchers, things like that, you know... You, they're going to keep a very, the the law is going to keep a very close eye on you, and in the capitals, the capital cities of most planets are going to look at you and go, yeah, no, would you mind, would you mind surrendering that, please, until you leave town, <laughs> you know. So it's it's that type of thing. So it does depend on where you are, and it does depend on on how big the weapons is. But you know, it's but it's, it's the difference between walking downtown with a um with a serve with a, a valet bot versus a war bot. You know what I mean? Oh. Why not both? <laughs> Why not both? Um, for that matter, does people want to pick up any more screens or suits, skin suits, things like that? I mean, I've got an inertia screen and an albedo screen. That's probably enough. Yeah, how would you, how'd your skin suit survive? Yeah, uh, I need to pick up a couple of, of skin suits. Yeah, <laughs> thought you might. He goes through them quite regularly. Funny that. And I do have a holo screen. You guys, I, we haven't had a use for it yet, but. Yeah, most of us bought one Actually, thinking it was going to be needed in this upcoming mission, but it wasn't. Actually, I did use the holo screen on the other planet where they were trying to kill the breasts. Uh, you right, took you did. docks. Well, we have it worked out, but yeah. I mean, there's a lot of, there is a lot of neat equipment in this game. Um, Kazes, how, how are you guys for Kazes? Uh, in particular, a bio Kaz, for example, Doc. Mm. How much is it going to cost me? I don't know. What's a, what's a bio Kaz worth, guys? <laughs> I haven't got it in front of me. I'm trying to figure out what that's under. Is it be under computer? Because this Kaz stands for... Com Kaz, Kaz, Kaz... Not computer skill, equipment computers, not skills equipment. Oh, okay. Uh, BioCAS, 500. At most, CAS, oh. 200. Kimmy CAS, 150. Combat CAS. Don't forget the, combi the combination CASs. You can put two CASs together. Medi CAS, yeah. 800. Robo CAS, 600. Mech CAS, 750. That might be something you want to pick up, um, Ben, as a Robocaz. A Robocaz? What? I said something you might want to pick up. Oh, no. Hey, thank you. No, this the is... only reason why I have robotics is to disable. Yeah, this uh, well, why adds... Why would I need a 10% to 100%? Because it's the 100% less the robot level. Mm. All those skills are less the robot level or less the computer uh, level. Or I don't whatever. think this deactivate is. Uh, deactivate may not be. It may be the only one that's not, but most of the others do. Yeah, uh, all the others, but activate, deactivate, I don't robo, think it does. Yeah, a RoboCAS is, adds 20% to repair. Well, there you go. So we might want one of those. MediCAS yeah. is 20% to diagnosis, and I don't really need that. Oh, you never know. Doc, doc, the point of the matter is, there is stuff out there. Um, the mech cat, there's a lot of, the, 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 I mean, there's a lot of different stuff out there that may help you with certain bits and pieces. 
Yeah, the right. mech has 20% to uh, open locks if it's a mechanical lock and any repair roll involving mechanical stuff too. Exactly. So there's, lot, there's, there's things out there that you may want to think about is what I'm getting at, guys. Um, and for that matter, how's your CAC and your CAC booster progs, um, CAT? So there's, and then of course there's the body comps and all the rest of the stuff. So yeah, there's plenty of stuff if you want to think about it. Ooh, and an electro cas for electrical locks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And as I said, you can combine two cases together into one, one device. There's a price for it. Um, I can't find it, but it, it is there. And I'm a assuming duo you've got a CAS is what it's called. Yeah, that's it, duo CAS. I think you. And it's plus twenty percent, and it weighs three. Price. Yeah. Yeah. So, combined, yeah, because they, they they weigh two each, but or two or three each, but the um the the duo CAS, um yeah, slightly slightly bigger. And you add the cost of the two cases together and then add an extra 20% for the combat yep. combination. There's one less thing you have to carry. It. Yeah, it's less weight to carry around too. So there's plenty of stuff there to look at, guys, is what I'm trying to say. If you spend your money on, if you want to spend money on things. So, yes. Well, a mech and electro duo cas would be fantastic. We might. Well, you, you you can buy one if you want. You know the prices. Yeah, I probably will. I'm not the technician, but I know the technician can't carry an extra three. <laughs> That's because the technician carries too much around, or is a weakling, or both. Um, no, he's a weakling. <laughs> Got that speech before. Well, it's because the technician carries around an entire armory worth of grenades as well. Like, yes, well, that's, that's... <laughs> the technician's problem. I tell you, I tell you the technician's strength was all, was this, is the second dump step. No, it's not. It's the third dump step. So, anyway. So there's plenty of things there, guys. So go through those lists um, for for yourselves um, offline if you want, but seriously consider some of that stuff because it's 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 it is going to help you. Obviously, it's what it's designed to do. Are we right to move on, or are we or is people still going through stuff? I don't mind one way or the other. I'm ready to move I, on. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Doc and everyone else, yeah. Yeah, I'll figure out the whole body comp thing later. Yeah, yeah, you go. That, that one's many. a rather complex one. There's too many options, yeah. Yeah. But it's useful. And I'll throw a robot CAS in my toolkit. I thought you had one. I might. Anyway, I check it out. There you go with it. Robo CAS, um, yeah. Robot CAS, and don't forget you got a, the, the robot CAC, the, ro the RCAC as well, the robot access computer as well. Yeah, I think you're right now that you mention it. Yeah. I'll make sure well, it's here. Mm. Anyway, it's okay. It's all good. So, um, you get about a three, four weeks worth of downtime uh, after everything's been everything's been done. Um, the, uh, apparently, there's some... Um, um, kitty, uh, kitty, I can't pronounce it. Crick Crack, where you were before last last adventure, where you stopped, stopped the Quitar. virus. No, no. Well, he was Qatar. What's Qatar? Um, apparently, they 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 they've just held elections, um, and um, um, apparently, um, quite a few uh, seats went to humans more than more than has that has been done in the past, which is an interesting sign, I think. Um, Death to that evil Vrusk sort of empire that's going on there. Sorry, Cerise. <laughs> 
I don't know if it's an evil empire. It's just it's just economics. <laughs> evil empire in the same way that Amazon's an evil empire, I suppose. It was it was a structural power imbalance that needed to be ridded. Yeah, yes. Well, that looks like it's happening. <laughs> I thought I mentioned that. Um, the um, the um, uh, the uh, UPF um, um, uh, uh, main body um, uh, has uh, ceded some of the uh, Anora from Volturnus. In other words, they've taken their seats in the council, uh, which is good. A bit of you know for that. If you remember that, what's happening with that one? Mm -hmm. uh, Larco's war is still going on. Um, there is um, um, uh, that pro the corporate wars going on on going on on Larco on the planet Larco. They're still raging, um, which is interesting. Um, there's some been re interesting reports of um, apparently Safar uh, Safar incidents have, have increased by 0.05 percent in the last couple of uh, months since you've been away. 0.05 percent. What is that across the entire we need to put a stop to this? That's across the entire frontier. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, for that matter, uh, pirate activity has gone up by a full one and a half percent, apparently. A point oh five percent across the entire frontier is actually no point big. five. Point five, I said. Point. Sorry, point five. I meant. Did I say point oh five? Did I? I don't know. No, point for half a percent. Half a percent. That's pretty okay. huge. Like yes. as far as SATA events that were actually reported frontier wide to be SATA related, half a percent is pretty huge. Three, well, you're on the money. Wait, Let's no, is that half? <laughs> okay. Is half, that what half, half a percent? Not point oh five, like I. No, half a percent. Say. Yeah. And pirate activity has gone up by one and a half percent. That's because the pirates are funded by the satire. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's, exactly. It's exactly. a two percent satire activity increase. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> what about the satire pirates? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway. Um, apart from that, um, uh, um, the only other, the only other, there's a couple of other pieces of interesting news out. The one that, uh, is that um, um, inner and outer reach of Dremaine, um, uh tensions are rising quite quite nastily uh, amongst those uh, those two planets again. Do we know anything about that from as as characters? Um, only what was on the website, which you probably haven't got access to. Yeah. Um, uh, let me, let me I just, because I did, uh, yeah, you, know, I just, because you I asked, just, yeah, I just don't you. know how that, uh, uh, that uh, is relevant uh, to our characters. Um, okay, here's the system brief for, for Dremain. All right, mm -hmm. um, it's um, a K1, it's a K1 orange yellow star. Um, I won't bother giving you the coordinates at the moment. Um, it's got routes to Cassidane, Devco, and and uh, from Latar. Okay, so it's pretty central. Yep, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's got only four planets, close reach, inner reach, outer reach, and lost reach. What's lost reach? A planet. Oh, as in that's the name of it. Yeah, okay. they're the name of the planets. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're the four planets are called close reach, inner reach, outer reach, and lost reach. Yeah. Um, close reach and lost reach are both uninhabited. Um, inner uh -huh. reach um, is 75% dralocyte and 20% 25% others. Outer reach runs roughly roughly a quarter for the four major races each. Not quite. You know, it's 23, 27, 26, and 24 percent. So it's roughly a quarter for the others. Um, they're both both inner and outer reach and, and medium density planets. Um, inner reach is um, industry and agriculture. Um, outer reach is industries and resources. Apparently, outer reach is a bit of a mining um, shithole. <laughs> Apparently. Um, it's Mount Isa. Gravi yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> gravi inner reach gravity is 0.8. Outer reach is, uh, is 1. Um, inner reach is 20 hours long. Uh, the day is 20 hours long. Outer reach is 35 hours long. Um, inner reach has got a 348 local day year. Outer reach is a 374 local day year. 
the average surface temperature of inner reach is 29 degrees Celsius. The average surface temperature of outer reach is minus four degrees Celsius. Uh, both have nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases. The oxygen level on inner reach is about 21%. On, it's only 15% on outer reach. Um, the climate on inner reach is warm to hot, mostly humid. Outer reach is cold to frigid and very dry. Um, it's, it's a, a inner reach's diameter is about 88, 8,900 kilometres. Outer reach is about 13,000 kilometres. Um, there's one moon on inner reach, Pell. There are four moons on outer reach, uh, Card, Tarx, Ek and Tolk. Um, artificial satellites, there's Inner Station and Stronghold Majoria uh, on Inner Reach. Um, and um, on Outer Reach, there's Drakwall Station, Jermaine Shipyards, and Stronghold Pinnacle. Um, the two strongholds are UPF bases. Uh, the shipyards is a shipyard. Inner Station and Drakwall Station are both um, commercial stations. Um, the Dremaine system was first colonised in 170 PF by the Dralocytes, whose race expanded into the frontier from that direction. Uh, within several decades of founding the first settlement, members of all four races were living on both inner and outer reach. Uh, at first, the two planets developed in peaceful harmony. Trade flourished between them, as this is one of the few systems having more than one habitable planet, and therefore cheap system ships could be used for commerce. After several decades, however, philosophical differences began to separate the two societies. Uh, the dramatic different living conditions on the two planets caused them to develop, develop along dissimilar paths, uh, creating one of the most bitter and long-standing conflicts in the frontier. Uh, tendrils extend from the Zagia dust cloud into the system, reaching even beyond the orbit of the outermost planet Lost Reach. Inner Reach is a world that most creatures would describe as pleasant. Temperatures are warm and a stable orbit creates little climate change from season to season. Large lakes and seas break up the land masses with an ever-flowing pattern of water. Rain usually falls at night, leaving the days that are sunny and hot. The land masses of inner reach vary from rugged snow-capped mountains to lush flat grasslands and towering forests. Uh, flowers in thousands of brilliant, brilliant varieties bloom year-round on every terrain. A rich and varied animal life has evolved in this prime habitat, including insects, reptiles, mammals, and fish. The most intelligent animal is the chucker, a mammal about one and a half meters from nose to tip of its tail. The chucker does not have high reasoning ca capability, but is far more in intelligent than most animals. It's bordering on the sentence level. About the same as a, probably a smart chimpanzee hmm. in comparison. Um, inner Reach is perhaps the most successful example of the ancient ideal of an enlightened society. Poverty and disease are almost non-existent. A robust economy produces fruit, vegetables, and a wide variety of unique spices. The planet is formed for its many fine food products, some of which are so valued that they are shipped to all parts of the frontier. A small industrial segment of the economy produce, processes these foods and produces the machinery needed for farming Inner Reach's lands. Um, a Republican democracy forms the planetary government, which takes a remarkably casual approach to rule. Uh, laws stress individual rights above all else. The system works because the population, by and large, is very responsible. Crimes are rare in a reach, and punishments generally involve re-educating the offenders. Surgical rehabilita rehabilitation is used only in the most extreme of cases. Uh, Inner Reach's original Dralocyte settlers have long been obscured by the many immigrants who have continued to arrive. The planet's population is approaching half a billion, with a B, uh, but vast expanses of unsettled land have prevented any problems of overcrowding. The government has enacted strict laws to protect the environment and set aside several small pardon me, continents as planetary parks and preserves. Uh, several decades ago, the Chikar became the planetary symbol. To protect, to protect their beloved mascots, the citizens of Inner Reach enacted stiff laws to deter, deter any who might molest or harm the creature. Um, a trading station, Inner Station, orbits Inner Reach, providing a base for the planet's militia and the trading vessels that cross the systems dozens of times each day. 
Stronghold Majora is the largest station providing both services for trading and also as a base for space fleet vessels in the system. Uh, the inhabitants of Inner Reach harbour a burning hatred for their neighbours on Outer Reach, regarding them as crude collection of lawless hoodlums and thugs. Friction is high between the government of the two planets. Every 20 or 30 years or so, the tension erupts into a shooting war. The last of these wars occurred in 61 FY. Uh, outer Reach, it's about 65, 66, I think, at the moment. What, um, I'll have to check. What is the shooting war between planets? Um, ships shooting each other. Okay. Okay. Not like... Yeah, okay. Oh, no, 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 not Death one... Star. Not, not the Death Star, no. Yeah, I'm like, wait a minute. No, not like, like the Death Star. They're just firing off fireworks at each other. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, they're actually... No, they're actually... They're actually actually... going to war, yeah. Yeah, they've actually been uh, at war. Um... Outer Reach can muster a large force of warships and only intervention by the UPF space fleet has saved Inner Reach from conquest by its militant neighbour. Uh, because of its lively economy, Inner Reach is well represented in senior committee posts within the Council of Worlds, including the chair of the Military Oversight Committee. Uh, it is this influence that has allowed the planet to acquire space fleet's aid. The fleet does not normally participate in inter, inter, interplanetary conflicts normally. Aside from the rather infrequent shooting wars, the planet's pleasant environment and great personal freedoms combine to make Inner Reach one of the most desirable in the frontier worlds for living, working, or playing. Plenty of fucking steam bars there, the mother. Yeah. Yeah. Well and truly. The um, Outer fat. Reach. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Outer Reach is cold and inhospitable. Yeah. The planet's, origi the planet's original settlers were drawn by the lure of mineral wealth locked within the planetary's rocky shell. All the uranium. people making funny money for those fat drower sites. Yep. <laughs> uranium got you're a bit of a you're a bit of a bloody socialist. Uh, not socialist. You're a bit of a communist, aren't you? Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think anybody gets into quitting a megacorp as a computer programmer and saying "fuck this corporate world" without yeah, okay. a little bit of an axe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um, uranium, gold, and aluminium are just a few of the elements that have been extracted from outer reach by the millions of tons since they were first discovered. Um, the severe environment on outer reach has prevented the development of any native life forms, plant or animal. Although the atmospheric conditions, the atmospheric contains, atmospheric contains breathable amounts of oxygen, the scarcity of water undoubtedly precluded any natural evolution. Barren rock fields and harsh, craggy Users mountains join cover. Your channel. Is that you, um, uh, Thomas? Thomas. Hey. Hello. Um, you you'll pick pick up from the video what I've been talking about. I'm not going to go back over it again. Okay. <laughs> but welcome. Um, um, did uh, um did you um, whoever was running um, jazz? Did you write down the experience points and the money? Yep. You did. Uh, experience points is in yes. the base character seat. Yeah, we got yeah. a nice the extra. Yeah, 30, 30 whole points. Wow. Yep, I updated your, and I added a new line to your inventory for the pay. I already subtracted living expenses. Cool, thank you. Uh, you should have been sent an email from Ryan, Ryan from me, containing yep. containing the uh, the the equipment sheets because the website's still not up. I'm afraid. Sorry. No worries. And we were just uh, talking about Dralosite overlords that need to be overthrown from a mining mining colony. Yeah. You'll pick it up from the video, and that's that's <laughs> a little bit that's a little bit a little bit that's a little it's bit of bias commentary. Yeah, <laughs> bit of bias commentary that one. Um, okay, so as I was saying, uh, and you'll pick this up as we go um, out of reach. Um, barren rock fields and harsh, craggy mountains cover much of the planet's surface. Chains of volcanoes lace the land many of them constantly sprouting masses of smoke and lava. The planet presents a bizarre picture from space. Mile-wide streams of molten rock trace fiery paths through the landscape. Outer Reach is known throughout the frontier as a home for gangsters, pirates, cheap thugs, and other interstellar scum. It's a reputation which is richly deserved. The mines are playing out, so now the planet's main source of income is the production of weapons and simple robots. Although not famed for quality, the products of Outer Reach can be purchased anywhere in the frontier, if you have the right connections. 
According to some estimates, illegal gains through smuggling activities represent fully 50% 50 of the planet's income. The population only numbers about 20 million or so. Most of these individuals, immigrants and their descendants, live in large climate-controlled cities that draw energy from geothermal sources. In fact, the chief advantage of manufacturing on outer reach is the almost free energy that can be obtained from these underground sources. Outer reach was originally settled by free thinking individuals drawn by the planet's mineral resources. As these resources began to diminish, competition for unclaimed territories became intense and a might makes right philosophy evolved. A number of small kingdoms and dictatorships battled each other for decades until finally the Styrian nation emerged as the supreme power. After the warring ended, a fierce rivalry continued between the Styrians and their closest contenders for powers, the Malfarian, the Malfarian Confederation. Finally, these two forces worked out a unique compromise. The Styrians gave, gained control of the planet's surface and the Malfarians took control of the space stations orbiting out of reach. The two governments have cooperated peacefully. Both the planetary and explanatory governments are dictatorships. The Malfarians are ruled by a dralocyte called the Malfa. Several space stations orbit outer reach, holding a prime position on frontier trade routes. Stronghold Pinnacle, the largest, is heavily armed and represents a major breastwork in the UPF plan for frontier defence. Jermaine Shipyards is a class 3 construction centre and the source of most of the system ships that ply the Jermaine skies. Drakweld Station is the headquarters of the Malfa and is also rumoured to shelter the home offices of his massive alleged crime syndicate, which has tentacles reaching to the farthest corners of the frontier. It is not known if the Mathar's operation, if it can be proven to exist at all, is a rival for the Zank or part of it. I'll get back to the Zank in a second. In recent years, it is... Don't mind me, I'm just making That's all right. Active, active, yeah, active secret police forces, both in space and on the planet's forces, quickly stomp out any dissident, dis, dissident behaviour. Uh, generous bribes must be offered at every level of the bureaucracy before any kind of action is possible. Outer Reach has a small, highly trained fleet of militia ships, and the Mathar can allegedly easily muster a good number of pirate vessels as allies. Because of this combination, the planet possesses the deadliest starship attack force of any single planet in the frontier. Fortunately for the peace-loving peoples, the criminal world has not been able to prevent star space fleet from coming to the aid of some of the criminals' potential victims. Now, um, this is going to tie in with something else I need to tell you about. Um, apparently, uh, in recent years, the discovery of the drug Ixel, uh, you, would re you will record that Ixel... Um, Addicts have been showing up all, over, all across the frontier for the last couple of years. Um, apparently, the drug is readily, readily available on outer reach, uh, selling at a street price of only 100 credits a pill. Um, there's also been, uh, talking about upturns in things, there's also been a 5% upturn front, frontier wide in Ixel um, deaths and addictions and hospitalizations. So, so yes, um, that's any questions on Jermaine? That, yeah, no? Uh, the Zenk, by the way, the Zenk is the frontier wide mafia. Oh shit, okay, yeah. Um, which is in which is in the background information you guys are on the yeah. website, which is, yeah. But I mean, it's, yeah. Um, Excel prime... is really south our saliva. <laughs> okay. Exhaust rest out us all over. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I didn't know you had bio, uh, biochemistry. <laughs> Maybe not biochemistry, just the uh, Breaking Bad high school knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> just just meta gaming knowledge. Um, so yeah, um, that's so that that that's, that was because that, the 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 guys asked me about Jermaine. Because I said that it's, it seems tensions are starting to flare again between inner and outer reach, so that's all on the website. So I'll I just um I just thought I'd yeah you know, give that information out because you can't get the web no one can get the website at the moment. 
So, yeah. sounds, sounds like those pirates are poised to overthrow their dictators, so I'm all good with this. Um. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, that's not a very nice thing to say about Vogue. And Babu. Oh. Read, it, read the FG chapter. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, um, savage. Wanna... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, Jazz, do you want to quickly get rid, uh, spend those experience points, please? Sure. If you can. Work out the what you GM want to spend wants on. you to spend them like candy so that you can't spend them at a later date with more information. That's right. But, yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't want you to take spaceship skills. Yeah, no, no spaceship skills. There's restrictions as well. Um, oh, no spaceship are you? skills. <laughs> no spaceship skills. I don't think you're okay. eligible for any spaceship skills anyway, are you? Uh, uh, I am. I, can get I, know you, I know you are, Ben. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Jazz. Ah, oh, um, gunnery. I can start getting gunnery skills with this amount of experience. Yeah, well, you can't, but you can certainly you can certainly um, finish paying for the prerequisites if you, if that's what you want to do. Sure. So, based on that, I'm assuming you that means you're taking laser six. Yeah, I'll go with beam six. Uh, I think there's a couple more other military ones that I don't have level one in yet, so I'll I'll just kind of pick fill those, those out as well. Yeah, okay. And then uh, I'll start so, up like uh, three, six, or projectile, nine, something like that. Yeah, three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Eighteen points for eighteen points for that, isn't it? Yeah. For level six, beam weapons. You don't want to pick up any any. I, I'm not suggesting you do this. I'm asking you a question. You don't want to pick up any weapon skills, weapon uh, vehicle weapon skills. Uh, I do have vehicle weapon skills. I oh, do. I didn't realize. Uh, a few. Just so you know, there's only a few, um, only a few to have. Yeah, Volk yeah. also yeah. has the med inject now, so whenever he goes unconscious, um, he'll be administered yeah, you a dose. Yeah, you'll have to remind me because I will. I will not remember that. I have enough. I don't remember cats, and she's had a lot longer than you have. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, maybe I don't. Yeah, yeah. I'll be picking those up. Oh, I'm just saying. Yeah, there's plenty. Of, there's plenty of time to learn that type of stuff between the time. Okay. So while you're spending that, um, and I need you to spend it before we. I need you to spend that. Spend them. Don't hang on to too many of them. Uh, my recommendation is don't hang on to too many of them. I, I would be spending them if I were you. Okay. Got it. So I Set that. your stamina to a hundred if you have nothing else to do. <laughs> hey, it's not a bad <laughs> idea. No, it's not no a bad it's, idea. It's all. absolutely not. It's a good idea, but yeah. So why did well, you do that? Because you get a hit for another one hundred and twenty-five points of laser yeah. damage. I only, yeah, have, I only have two XP remaining. Oh, it's two. Yeah. It's two extra stamina points. I got zero. I mean, I could have stamina sixty-two. You could. Yeah. I'll save it. Hey? If, if the GM says that I should probably spend it, then maybe this is reverse psychology. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> One, stop metagaming. Two, don't try, <laughs> don't try and outthink me because you, just, you won't. Trust me, you won't. Two, well, three. I, mean, I, I can't outthink somebody who has complete information about exactly what's going to happen in the game. Like As I said, you, you can't outthink me, so don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so after about three or four weeks of, of, of when you finish up all the all the uh, the debriefings and things like that, you get a... I'm indecisive. Okay, I'm putting six more points, my last six experience points into deaths. Into decks. Okay, well, that'll, that'll improve, improve your missile combat by three points. And my melee and some of my skills. Oh, and possibly and possibly your melee. Uh, I don't use strength or dex for melee. Now I have nine limbs. Oh god. <laughs> I think what I <laughs> let's see, a head and two legs. So I have six arms. You can make yourself look like Cerise. Yeah, getting to the point. Yeah, you're finally getting to be respectable. And consider, considering Dralocytes think uh, think that um, uh, that um, Vrask have funny shapes. They do. <laughs> they do. Um, anyway, 
after a couple of, after a couple of weeks of, of downtime and shopping and training and you know, whatever else, um, you each receive a, um, a, a secure communication on your uh, basically an email on your comm units, um, apparently from the uh, CDC, um, asking you uh, if you could come to a uh, come to a meeting um, in two days' time. Sure, we like the CDC. Hmm. Yeah. Mega cult fucks. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, we before you joined, Thomas, we, we were getting on a bit of a, a, a cat megacorp anarchist rant. 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 Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just continuing Never. that. Uh, just Never it's funny. Guessed. Yeah. yeah rant, is, it, rant is the correct term. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, it's uh, uh, two, two, two in the afternoon um, at, a, at a, uh, not CDC headquarters, but at um, a, another facility. Not too far from headquarters, but still another facility. So are you going to go? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll just let Jez finish up what he's doing because I need to go for a quick bathroom break again. Sorry, guys. I've got 10 points left to spend. I'm just trying to figure out what ability scores I want to use them on at this point. Power armor. Oh, I've already got power armor skills. I, I just filled out and got basically every military skill. Level one and everything and level six in beam weapons is what Jazz has now. Hey Ben, is that spreadsheet? Oh, that's probably a Word spreadsheet or not Word, but it's a Google Sheet spreadsheet. Oh, it's a Google one. Could you potentially send me that so I can do my skills on that? Yeah, I just got computer engineer robotics on there. Yeah, that would be great if you have those. Oh, and technician. So yeah, it's got all the. Yeah, those are the ones I need. Yeah. Those. Yeah, I'll send that to you. Uh, what is a good place to send it? Just to your email. Yeah, uh, Wraith Atha, yeah. Oh, um, Jazz, you might want to take vehicle, operate vehicle, the NSA. Uh, how, how many points is that for first level, do you know? Drive, no, I don't know. Well, do we need, does he need it? We have three drivers now. Oh, oh do we? we? Yeah, cat. Cats are third. Uh, well, you could go for archaeology. <laughs> I think I was going to some attributes. <laughs> Stamman uh, doesn't hurt either. Sorry, oh, you that? might want like a demo cast for defusing bombs. He's well, got one of those. Uh, <laughs> one of the first things he bought when he could. When he could. Yeah, um, I should bump up strength so I can carry more. Yeah, you can do that too, Sean. That'll also affect your melee if, if you're using strength for melee. Oh, true. Thanks, Ben. I'll just make a copy. Copy of what? Um, so, yes. Um, so, I'm assuming you grab a cab or something, or a couple of cabs, out to uh, this, the address of this place. Yep. No. Um, it's a three-story building. Um, it's got a. It's it's not in the. It's not in the CBD. It's out in in the burbs as such. Um, it's not. It doesn't look like an industrial park per se. It looks like a um, a large um, squat three-story building. It's got a, um, a, 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 a typical chain link fence um, around it, uh, and there appears to be barbed wire. Um, at, along the top two or three strands of the of the fence, um, there's a gate um, uh, and a security shed uh, and a, 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 a car park uh, with a, quite, quite a few nice, average, you know, middle class looking vehicles uh, parked there. Uh, the building's got a the, the it's it's uh, the it's called um, Tech Ed R and D is uh, emblazoned 
M emblazoned on the side of the building. Um, and the uh, the gate is currently it's one of those ones that's it's um, ones that slide sideways on rollers. It's currently closed. And you can see in the security shack um, a rather large looking um, Yazirian male um, in a security uniform. Ram the gate. <laughs> uh, the cabbie is not going to ram the gate. Oh, well, then we'll pull up and, uh, and it say, say we're here by appointment and give our names. Um, the, uh, the, um, the security user in, the security guy um, looks, his check, uh, looks at his uh, clipboard and goes, ah, oh, yes, yes, uh, you're just uh, heading, heading to the main, the, through the main entrance, he says, uh, reaches, uh, reaches down, pushes a button, and the, uh, the gate electronically slides, uh, slides to the side, allowing, uh, allowing you entrance to the compound. Okay. Uh, you pay off the cabbie. Uh, or cabbies, uh, they leave, and I'm assuming you guys are heading inside. Yeah. Well, a typical you know, inside is a typical foyer slash reception area with a receptionist sitting behind a desk. Um, you don't know if it's a male or a female because it's a drama site. Maybe it's neither. Maybe it's neither. Uh, the drama site looks up at you. Hey, sorry. And maybe it's both. It? Maybe it's both. Uh, I don't think that happens. Um, the uh, the drill site looks up at you and uh, and says, uh, uh, "Yes, can I help you at all?" I'm Sir Zilar. These are my associates. We have an appointment. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, if you could just. Take a quick seat. I'll get someone to take to come and collect you. Is that all right? Certainly. Okay. Um, there is an area to sit down. Um, yeah, a few, a few typical corporate magazines on the, and flyers on the table. Um, apparently, TechEd R and D is a research and development company specialising in um, uh, um, education technologies. Um, teaching machines, for example, would be one of the things they would be looking at. Um, deep learning implants, things like that, would be what is the type of thing that the brochures, the brochure that talks about when you flip through it casually. Anyone have any questions? Does it say anything like who the who the CEO, who the founding technologist is? Not in the no, I mean no. It, it it talks about our founder and that, but it doesn't actually name anyone. Um, but apparently, they according to, again according to the the PR PR stuff, uh, they've been around for about 13, 14 years. Um, and uh, you know, but you've never heard of them, which isn't that unusual. Um, they're not probably not they're probably not not that big enough. Uh, okay. There is there is however no mention of the CDC. And for those who can't remember, that's the Cassidyne Development Corporation, not the Center for Disease Control. Uh, anyway, after about five minutes or so, um, a young, uh, a young male human uh, comes and collects you uh, and leads you through one of the side doors um, down a rather lit hallway. Um, look, the place gives you the impression of a of, as a um, a research center or a, um, a, a university it's got that type of feel to it yeah in terms of decor and lighting and and all that type of thing um, anyway you're led down into a um, a small a small theater actually seats about uh, about 50 people total um, but the seats go up uh, in the you know there's like five rows of 10 seats um, heading up on an angle, so um, the actual room itself is probably two stories tall um, in its entirety, uh, but not that very big. There's a, a slightly raised, a raised stage. Uh, there's a lectern um, on the on the the, 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 the dais, the stage, um, and uh, the rooms, while 
quite easy to see. It's it's a bit like a um, a, a movie theatre before the movie starts. Yeah, you know, that type of look feel. Yep. Seats right. are quite comfortable. Uh, the seats are quite comfortable. Um, there are seats for Vrusk as well as um, uh, more humanoid um, species. Um, so basically, you can guys can sit where you want. I'm assuming you're sitting in the front row or front first two rows anyway. Uh, there's nobody there, just the guy who showed us in? Yes, yes. Uh, and he says to you, if, he says, if you, uh, please take a seat. Um, the, uh, the, they won't be a moment, he says. Uh, right. And basically, basically leaves. I'll take two seats because I'm a brusque. Oh. Yeah, well, you take a brusque seat because there's brusque seats. Um, the, um, after a few minutes, um, a suit comes in, if you know what I mean. Um, human, uh, human female, actually, this one, um, and says, ah, excellent, excellent. I'm glad you're all here, she says, as she moves up to the lectern. Um, she manipulates some controls on the lectern and the lights uh, dim and um, uh, with a, not a spotlight, but a brighter light on her. Um, Thank you for coming, she says. What I'm about to tell you I, uh, is uh, confidential, as I'm sure you would be aware. No. Um, you uh, have, apparently um, this particular team has been rather successful in a number of uh, previous uh, operations uh, for the uh, Cassidyne Development Corporation. And so uh, you were recommended uh, to me as potential uh, operatives, shall we say. Is this true? Well, we're certainly some kind of operatives. Jazz wings. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Uh, my name, by the way, is Miss Jennifer Summers. I am the uh, executive in charge of a particular project here at TechEd. Um, what you probably have worked out by now is that TechEd is a subsidiary of uh, the CDC, specialising in uh, education technologies. We have been working on a particular project for a number of years now, and we are at the field testing phase. We uh, are looking for some field testers. Um, we are quite willing to uh, reward you handsomely uh, for um, your participation and discretion in this uh, particular um, endeavor. Um, it will require um, up to uh, two years of your time uh, and well, we will compensate you uh, 100,000 credits each for that time. Uh, that won't be your only remuneration. Um, because there is a, a second income stream you'll be able to tap into during that two-year period. Does this sound of interest to you at all? What are we testing? Some education technology. Um, we have been, obviously, uh, it's been tested in the lab and works uh, quite well, she says, with a bit of a smile on her face. Um, I'll go into some details uh, more details in a moment. Oh, actually, I won't. Uh, Dr. Jikat will, but uh, I'll get him in in a moment. Um, I. Wait, you uh, said, huh? Go on. You said the pay was 1,000 credits? No, 100,000 credits. For oh, two years. For two years. Yes. 
plus, as I said, the extra um, income stream, which I'll get to in a moment. Um, so the uh, equipment technology that we have developed, um, we believe is just about ready for full commercialization. Um, we do need it, do need some um, to understand the long term uh, implications of the technology, which is why uh, we are preparing prepared to offer you what we are for the period of time that we are. Um, we don't have any competitors. We don't believe we have any competitors within uh, able to come to market within uh, that two year time frame. In fact, we believe our competitors are at least five years behind us. So even with a, even with this final two year test, um, we should still be three years ahead of our competitors uh, in terms of market uh, market dominance. The interesting thing about it is is that uh, I understand you were involved with the Alcatraz uh, mining incident. We Alcazar. were Alcazar. That was my fault. No, sorry, James fault. Not not her. I believe you brought that to a successful conclusion. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. I also believe you had something to do with the um, Bikem incident a few months ago. Which you I'm also well brought informed. to a success. Uh, it's my job to be well informed, she says with a, a, a half smile on her face. Um, so you've proven your discretion and your abilities to my superiors in the CDC uh, to the point where this is why you are being offered this opportunity. Um, are you interested at this point? I know I am. Assuming, Focus interested. Assuming that um, this technology, if it uh, has any detrimental long-term effects that um, that uh, you care, you will provide appropriate treatment accordingly. We will certainly we can certainly work that work that out. Um, we don't expect any long-term detrimental effects per se, and if there are any, the, if there are any, um, they will not be debilitating at all, um, as far as we're aware. Um, but yes, we'll certainly uh, you'll certainly be compensated appropriately. If that's the case, provided, of course, that you are completely 100% uh, discretion. Yes, she says with a, a questioning look uh, with a raised eyebrow or raised eyebrows. As in, yes, shall we go ahead with this or not? Basically, is what she's asking. What are uh, we going to test first? I'll get to that in a moment. We're very interested. <laughs> But before yeah, we completely detail. accept, we want to know what it is we're going to test. Certainly. For the purposes of this next uh, little piece of uh, presentation, um, our uh, chief scientist in this area has been informed uh, that you are uh, potential investors. Um, Oh, that that already exists, no? That's that's already out there. Um, you're pretend, uh, you, 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 you're playing the part, you're play, so you need to play the part of potentially investors as opposed to test subjects. Um, try not to uh, stuff things up too badly, she says with a, a wry smile. Uh, Can and you, then uh, she take uh, some of our guns. Then oh, everyone's got guns. It's hard to see anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying we're we're mm. like. We're dressed like mercenaries, not... Oh, I don't think you would be. You might be carrying pistols. I don't think you dress like mercenaries. That's not how you normally go. Uh, not, not not, to these meetings. Yeah, pistols and a, and a... And a suit or yeah. equivalent. That's, how, that's what I expected. Or in Kat's case, a dress, maybe. No? Cat suit. Sonic sword <laughs> in a... <laughs> Cat suit. <laughs> Cat suit. Oh, God. Wrong, wrong type of meeting, I'm afraid. Um, she, uh, she, reaches, uh, she reaches down, flips a switch of some sort on the lectern and says, Dr. Chika, would you please come in? 
a Frusk enters um, dressed in uh, a lab coat, white lab coat, obviously some sort of uh, scientist, um, uh, uh, come, moves up to the lectern. Um, the uh, the lady's name I've forgotten. <laughs> jo um, Jennifer. Jennifer Summers. Summers. Miss Summers. Miss Summers. I, 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 it's not Saunders. It's not Saunders. What was it? Summers. Um, Summers. Uh, Jennifer Summers um, has a quiet word in his ear, and uh, and uh, he nods once in understanding. Uh, she stands to the side, and he um, and he moves up to the lectern. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. He says, um, "Thank you for considering." Um, investing in our little project. Um, allow me to uh, uh, to fill you in on some details. He manipulates some controls and above uh, above and forward of him in a open space appears a rather uh, a hologram of a standard teaching machine. Um, you should all recognize uh, this. This is one of uh, this is a standard uh, teaching machine. Uh, I'm sure you all understand how they work. The uh, uh, the student um, is um, uh, placed inside, or uh, and uh, um, an education program is um, uh, punched into the uh, computer. Um, um, he arms a lot. This guy, if you noticed, um, um, <laughs> typical typical side that's not used to talking to people, and uh, and the student uh, in a, 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 a a, a a program of education um, is delivered into the uh, delivered into the students' uh, mind via the uh, via the machine. Any questions at this stage? Now this is this this is all pretty standard stuff, you know. Um, yeah, generally th uh, generally about a hundred hours worth of 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 teaching machine um, um, is enough to raise a skill by a level. No matter what the skill is, except for sonic skills, they don't work on sonic skills apparently, but they work on just about every other knowledge skill, including weapon skills, which are knowledge, but yeah, you know, which they help train the knowledge of of, of things like that. A yeah, quick um, question. Yeah, to me or to her, to him. What's a credit? When you want a credit, it's money. Okay. That Ryan, you you've lost me. You're trying to be funny or what? I I humored myself at the very least. Yeah, well, that's about all you did. Okay. <laughs> that's all you did. That's all you did. Um, the uh, uh, professor or Doctor Jacquard um, uh, does some more manipulation, and a uh, the hollow image is replaced by something else. You can see. At its basis is a uh, um, a teaching machine, but it's unlike any other teaching machine you've ever seen before. This is our project, he says. Um, we're rather proud of it. Um, it's an advanced uh, teaching machine. It's the best way of saying it. Um, I won't give you the full the full uh, details. I'm sure the PR people will come up with uh, the marketing marketing boys will come up with a a particular um a good name for it uh we just we just call it the te2 a tm2 sorry that was my fault uh, we just call it the tm2 um it uh it does in about 10 percent of the time uh what a regular teaching machine will do um in other words the students only need about 10 hours um immersion um it also will teach uh, not just individual um, uh, skills, but also it'll teach any uh, background skills that uh, are required um, in a meta gaming game sense. It will teach skills that you do not have the experience points for. Yeah. Um, so uh, as you can see, we are rather excited about the possibilities that this will bring to, well, not only universities and, and uh, secondary schools, but also um, the military is interested for obvious reasons um, and other organizations as well. Um, we have thoroughly tested it, tested it in the lab. 
we haven't field tested it yet, of course. That's the next phase, which is why you're here, he says, um, not rubbing his hands in 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 greed, but <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, so as investors, of course, you would be um, coming in on the ground floor, as it as it were, uh, on this uh, on this particular project. Um, any questions at this point in time? Well, I'll let you finish. No one else? Now, um, in the interest of full disclosure, um, there, I, I, I really should ethically uh, mention that there has been some reported, not all, but some reported um, side effects of the advanced learning. Um, headaches being one of the main ones uh, being reported. Um, occasionally, there has been some um, uh, loss of body mass. Um, occasionally, um, some individuals have uh, reported um, some, uh, some, 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 uh, how do I say it? Um, slight health issues, um, colds, um, aches, pains, bruises, strains, muscle pulls, that type of thing. What we believe is happening is that um, the, T, the TM2 is um, compensating for the lack of, again, in metagaming terms, lack of experience points um, with, uh, by uh, um, uh, acquiring, uh, acquiring um, or stressing out the, uh, the, the, the body being taught. Um, no one, please, before going, we go any further. No one has died. Let me let me be quite clear about that. Um, uh, most of the effects have uh, have been temporary. There have been occasional. Um, I won't call them permanent because we don't know, but occasional long term effects of of uh, things like I said, uh, lost lost body mass, which uh, the our test subjects have built back up over time. Things like that. Um, but um, there's certainly no risk, uh, as far as we're aware, um, being completely honest, there's certainly no risk of any, of anything, um, uh, 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 going, going wrong in inverted commas. At this point, um, again, he pauses for questions. I do have a, a timely question. So you say occasionally, occasionally, um, I'm sure as a scientist, you have numbers. So out of how many long-term or, or... Uh, we're currently hovering in around 2% long-term and it's uh, coming in at about 20% short-term for things like headaches and things like that. Okay. Of our t test subjects. We've tested, we've tested the TM2 uh, approximately 1500 individual uh, times, not 1500 individual test subjects, um, a lot of our test subjects, uh, our volunteers have been through the machine more than once. Um, in fact, all of them have been through at least twice. Uh, some of them have been through up to 10 times. Um, I myself have, uh, have uh, been through the machine uh, four times um, for various um, bits and pieces of, of uh, skills, shall we say. Um, you... It's Sorry, yes. Have you been able to predict when the uh, long-term effects or, or not predict, uh, but find uh, um, causalities that may indicate long-term effects so that you can... Uh, no, not, not yet. It's one of the things we are, we are still um, looking into. And it's one reason why we're, we're moving on to the next phase of the project, which is, as I said, a, a long-term uh, long field test, if you like. Um, to, to, to determine this. Um, we certainly, uh, I mean, we certainly do not, uh, we're not going to rush to market with something that um, is, uh, is, is not safe for the general public. Isn't, isn't that right, Miss, Miss Summers? And of course, she nods her head and, and says, yes, that's, that's very true, uh, Doctor. Um, Babs, do you want to give me a detect lie or something like that? And do. 
I'll, can I do it too? Oh yeah, you too. Sorry, man. I forgot you. I forgot you. I gotta find a dice for it though. Yeah, towers right. off it, please, Ben. That might have been one of those things I missed, then, because I got a minus five there. Yeah, that's about all you need. That's all. That's what it starts. That's standard start with. You can improve that, by the way, just like um, Jazz can improve his um, battle rage. Yeah, does that need a percentile die then? Yeah, it's percentile dice. Just drop percentile dice down the tower, mate. I'll do the calculations. All right. Uh, as far as both of you are concerned, they're telling the exact same. Tr they're t telling the exact truth. Um, the, the full truth. They're, they're not trying to hide anything. Um, they're not trying to 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 um, uh, put anyone in danger. They genuinely believe they've got they've got something worthwhile, and they're trying to test it out and get it to market. Um, yeah, um, as quickly. Yeah, not as quickly, but as as um, as ethically and, and that as they possibly can. Any other questions, he says? Um, do you have, so what about operating costs compared to the original training machine? Ah, good question. Um, well, they, they require um, about 30% more power, uh, power draw than a standard teaching machine. But as I said, they do in um, one tenth the time what a regular teaching machine can do. Um, in addition to, as I said, um, the, ex the extra features and bonuses. So um, the thirty percent increase in power disappears in the fact that you're only running the uh, running the machine ten percent of the time. Maintenance doesn't have a noticeable increase in costs. Uh, there is a ma there is a maintenance increase only of about ten percent. But again, because you're getting um, ten times the usage out of it, that filters down only to a in effect a one percent increase in maintenance costs over the uh, over a, a equivalent time frame right what about uh, skill retention is that appear to be permanent it appears to be permanent that is though one of the one of the uh things we'll be looking for in the uh phase three testing which is the long-term testing uh we'll we'll be we'll be conducting um is, is skill retention at this stage um we our first volunteer um went into the machine about a year ago and they have not had any um, skill degradation that we can detect on the standard testing that we do that and by the way skill testing is standardized you've all been through skill testing yourselves in various forms for various bits and pieces so um, yeah okay um, this thing sounds uh, profitable if it's if it's all it's cracked up to be. Yes, we believe so. Um, we're we at it. We are rather proud. Um, well, uh, Miss, we're um, relatively adept at solving problems. What exactly is the problem you want us to solve? Uh, no problem. Um, funding is the problem. If you want to put it in those terms. So you're going to pay us a hundred thousand credits each, and the problem is funding. Did you miss the part? I think Doc might have been AFK for a little bit. Sorry about that. Go ahead then, without me. So no, we're, no, no. we're pretending to be investors at the moment. Did you step away for a second, Doc? Did you? Hundred thousand. That's why. Never mind. Doc? Go ahead. No, 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 no. Hang on. Let's back up here. Did you step away for a second? Did you, Doc? Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. No, that's why I didn't see it. Otherwise, I wouldn't. Uh, yes. Um, before the before the doctor came, before the the scientists came in, um, uh, Miss Jenny Summers said that you were, that as far as he was aware, you guys were investors. Look, uh, looking to invest in this project, not test subjects. Sorry for the sidetrack, everyone. It's all right. Well, retcon. Ret retcon. <laughs> retcon. 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 Uh, so yes. Um, so Miss Summers speaks. Is there any other any other questions for the good doctor? She says. I'll um, take that as no. Oh, yes. You mentioned headaches. Uh, 
those, well, you, there, there are two things you mentioned. One, one was uh, headaches. There's another one that you mentioned that um, there, there were some other minor side effects. The headaches, as far as you can tell, uh, did those go away after a while, or was there still, from your test subjects so far, a little bit of lingering uh, after effects? Uh, look, um, in all honesty, um, it was like a bad hangover. Lasted about a day. Um, pretty bad, to be honest with you, uh, migraine level. But after about 24, after about uh, 20 hours, which is a standard day, after about 20 hours, um, it, it, it cleared itself up. I haven't noticed anything, um, anything uh, since then um, in my own personal self, he says mm -hmm. with a smile. And, and may I ask, uh, when you, you, you personally uh, uh, using this, this technology, uh, what type of skills and training did you pick up on? Um, ah, uh, myself. Um, um, obviously, uh, I uh, happened to increase um, uh, my, um, sorry, I'm about to burp. Hang on. Oh, it's the stomach. It's my stomach. It's 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 the gastric gastric sleeve, mate. It's one of the side effects. Every now and then, I get to get, get a bit gassy from, and I've got nowhere for the gas to go except out. Um, you should build that into the training machine story. What me gassy? <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, I increased um, my medical skill. Um, I also uh, increased my um, pardon me, uh, my physics skill. I see. Okay. Um, personally, that's, that, that I uh, obviously uh, made myself a better scientist. He says with a, uh, a smile on his face. Mm, but um, now the machine, the machine can, the machine can teach like, like a standard teaching machine. The TM two can teach um, every skill that we know of, except psionic skills. Um, for some reason, um, the psionic skills. Uh, have well you can't teach no teaching machine can teach sonic skills as i'm sure you're aware um that's obviously one of the things we'll be working on um long term is to see if we can crack that particular uh particular uh, segment of the of, of the of the problem but um uh, chemistry uh, weapon skills um one of one of my uh one of my research assistants uh, decided he wanted to learn demolitions for some reason so we dialed it in and he now knows how to blow things up. I don't know why he wants to know that, but he does. Uh, uh, so uh, all sorts of things. Um, yes. Uh, so what about, we talked about some of the, the maintenance and the power, increased power. What other, what's the other cost? Production and, you know, one time and return, return ah, reoccurring costs differences to a standard uh, training machine well we haven't uh, we haven't talked to the price of the machine yet because we haven't actually worked that out it's, uh, we're not quite at that stage uh, but uh, increased maintenance increased um, electricity costs power costs uh, apart from that um, the lifetime of a machine should be comparable um, certainly within 95 percent of, of, a, of a regular teaching machine uh, is what we what we would um, is what all our models are predicting. Um, uh, cost of manufacture, obviously, is slightly increased on a regular teaching machine, um, but the benefits should be far outweighing um, anything else. I believe that type of questions should really be um, not my area. It's not my area of expertise. I'm not an I'm not an economist in that regard. I'm afraid um, Miss Summers might be able to answer that. Um, slightly better for you, perhaps, he says. Not in smile. Yeah, okay. Uh, is there anything else, he says? Oh, by the way, while, while, he, hang on, while he's been talking, uh, he's been throwing up graphs of power consumption and uh, life stuff. You know, he's been, it's not just a, you know, a whole bunch of stuff going up in the, in the hologram as, as he's been talking um, about, about the technical side of things. Not much on the business side. But certainly on the technical side, the maintenance, um, the maintenance hours, the uh, the lifetimes, the electricity increased power, yeah, things like that. Now, obviously, they have a an economic ben an economic basis, but yeah, whatever. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, return on investment, um, again, not really my area of expertise. Again, Miss Summers might might be a better person to 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 cover that with. Um, she obviously is, is the project uh, the, the project executive. I, I'm just the project lead. Um, he says um, with an, an an apologetic shrug. Mm. Well, if there's nothing else, says Miss Summers. Well, I'd like to know what percent of the different species have you tested? Is it an equal amount of each? Uh, pretty much. Um, I think um, the, our lowest is um, a Yuzirian, uh, the Yuzirian species at 23%. Uh, the highest is human at um, 27, 28%. And obviously, uh, Frusk and Dralocyte um, falling between those two. So roughly a quarter each. And the downside is relatively equally spread as well? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, it, it, at least it appears to be in this. Thing. Our sample size is, is, is pretty good um, in terms of uh, number of test subjects and number of sessions. Uh, it, it seems to be pretty pretty well um, locked in there in terms of percentages of, 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 of things at the moment. So, uh, and just the patent on the process? Uh, uh, the tech, the uh, uh, tech ed, tech ed does. When did they file? The patent? Yeah, uh, they haven't, not yet. And if and from and, and this is Jam the player. If you know anything about patent law, you don't pop off a patent on something like this. You keep it in house as much as possible until you until you're ready to actually release it. Which is right. where you get the pat, which is where you get the patent pending from. We file it right before you go public. Yeah. And at the moment, they're not going public. Yeah, in I'm fact, happy with the doctor. Hang on. In fact, if Babu were to give me a business role, a finance, a finance role. Yeah, sorry, a finance role. Yeah, um, as far as you're, as far as you can remember, and you'd have to confirm this by doing a lookup. Um, TechEd's not even a public company; it's still a private company, which means they don't have to file um, nearly as many forms so uh, as a public company. A prototype? How how many how many versions of the prototype do you have? Um, no, it's it's past prototype stage. Um, we just haven't. Uh, we're we're basically. Uh, apart from some minor tweaking, which we may need to do based on long term, on our long term phase three testing, um, they're ready to go. We have a dozen at this stage, and that's way more than you need for prototyping. And where are the machines manufactured? Here, here in this building. We will, of course, be setting up a proper manufacturing uh, centre. Um, uh, for uh, manufacturing in bulk, but at the moment the machines are, are manufactured here. We take a standard, a standard teaching machine and and modify. Um, so uh, the teaching machines that we have been using have been supplied to us um, by, and he rattles off a company name. Um, you've seen that brand on teaching machines before. There's nothing super special about them um, in that regard. Their stock standard team, their stock, stock, stock standard teaching machines. Um, although, again, with another finance role, Babu. And how long does it approximately take to make Manuf uh, Approximately at this stage, a week. Uh, obviously, yeah, if we, we set up a, a dedicated manufacturing centre, we should, we should get that down to a day. Uh, if we use, if we uh, continue to use stock standard teaching machines, or three days if we uh, build everything from scratch. Um, the company that he mentioned that, that the teaching machines, you you are pretty sure that's another CDC subsidiary. Subsidiary, Babu. Okay. Which wouldn't be un, which is not un, which is not unusual. It's something you'd expect, especially if CDC's um, the parent organisation for all these, even though they're not saying that out loud. So yeah, well, if there's nothing else, says um, well, who's who, who's a member of the board? Do you have a, any board members? Who's the uh, who's the final decision maker? Yeah, that type of information. Okay, I'll tell you now. That type of information wouldn't be given out 
in a situation like this. It's certainly not to a not certainly not to a scientist. Okay, but yes, every company's got a board, even if it's only a board of one. My company's got a board. I happen to be the CEO. This is me, Matthew. I happen to be the CEO and uh, president of the board. Right, and if you wanted me to invest in you, then you'd have to answer my question, right? I would, but it's not the type of question you ask a scientist. That's for Miss Summers. No, I was asking the scientist if he, if he wanted to give me any information. Obviously, he doesn't, right? No, he do, well, he doesn't have the information. It's not his information to give. He works for the company, but he doesn't know who's on the board? No, I didn't say that. I just said it wasn't his, it wasn't his information to give. Okay, thank you. Okay. That was Jan the player, as I said, again. Anyway, um, if there's nothing else, um, Ms. Summers um, says, thank you. Uh, thank oh, you, Doctor. I want to ask the scientist one more question. How long have you been working for the company? Since it's founded, 14 years ago. What's your stake in the company? I lied. There's only one more question. <laughs> I'm just an employee. I have some stock options, but that's neither here nor there. Yes, I will. Be, if we are successful with this project, I stand to make some money. Uh, in fact, if you invest in it, we'll all make some money, he says. Anyway, uh, nice to meet you all, he says. Um, hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll see each other in the future. And he, uh, he heads towards the door. So says Miss Summers once he's once he's left and the room is uh, room is um, the door is closed room is sealed door is closed same thing. Um, do you have any questions of me in terms of the job we want you to do? We would like you to do. You said there would be opportunities for um, additional pay. Uh, yes. Think, uh, yes. 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 Something Let in me. Mind? I have. Uh, have you seen this at all? He, she says, as she as a, um, um, a, a, a news, not a newspaper, but a, but a, a, a news advertisement uh, flashes up on the hollow in the hollow screen. I mean, why did that work? Why didn't that work? You should have got. Did you guys get a? Uh, White yeah, light, yeah you, white did. Light. you did. You I, did. I just I didn't get any indication that you got it, which is unusual. Anyway, uh, that play, that flashes up on the screen. That looks interesting. I hadn't seen it. It sounds like uh, perhaps uh, some of our friends at the CDC have uh, something else in mind for our uh, activities. Where we put yes. the skills to test. The, uh, that, uh, although it doesn't say it, we have determined that that is a advertisement for the Clarion military, militia. They're apparently seeking some uh, individuals to uh, round out their, uh, their small fleet. Um, it's a two-year um, sign-up, shall we say? A two-year, a two-year engagement, um, and uh, in a and that's the uh, extra uh, remuneration I was talking to you about. We will, of course, uh, what our plan is is to um, use the TM2 to train individuals uh, up to fill out um, those relevant skills. And, uh, and then have those individual have those uh, have you um, answer that advertisement and um, basically um, do what you need to do for the next two years uh, to test out the long term viability of the teaching machines, the uh, skills you will acquire, and uh, and so forth. Of course, uh, we do expect full discretion in terms of what you're doing while you are working for the uh, white light government in that regard is there other obligations the cdc will want from us while we are working oh there? only 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 a report um what we do what we do intend to do though is to uh provide um your uh your doctor 
Dr. Perrault, I believe, uh, with some additional training uh, outside of the uh, spaceship skills um, for him to be able to monitor your health um, for us. Um, we would expect uh, monthly reports off you, doctor, um, in terms of your teammates and um, any other uh, psychological reports uh, and such forth that you would uh, care to undertake as a team um, monthly, uh, a monthly and, and basically a monthly feedback report from everybody. Based on, um, based on our knowledge and your psychological profiles, psychological and, phys and phy physiological profiles, um, we thought we'd um, uh, have uh, you, doctor, go in as a medical officer. Um, uh, Miss, Miss Cerise, uh, you seem to be uh, well suited to becoming a, a pilot. Uh, Miss Haskelly, uh, you an astrogator. Uh, Mr. Voak, um, a, a Starship engineer. Uh, Mr. Mr. I can't remember your full name, Jazz. I'm not even going to try it. So I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> Um, it would be uh, would be a prime candidate for um, a beam weapon uh, beam weapon gunnery, and of course you, Mr. Johnson, as a rocketry a rocket gunnery expert. That covers the main um, psychological. That covers the main starship skills um, that uh, exist basically, and also would be um, would round out a nice a, a nice crew, shall we say, for a uh, a, a small um, cutter. Um, or a patrol boat in the uh, in the uh, white light um, defense forces, which I believe is what they're more or less trying to recruit for, from what from what I gather from the information we have gathered. So there we have it. That's what we're proposing. Any questions? Any concerns? Do we have a uh, do we have a deal? As as long as. As long as uh, you agree that if there happens to be detrimental long-term effects, that you provide appropriate care for that, I'm good. Well, well, as we as we as we said, it's been 12 months since we first started alpha testing, and there's been none so far. Uh, but in the interest of of, of full disclosure, we'll t we've told you what what has what side effects there have been, and yes, we will certainly cover um, uh, agree to cover. Um, uh, um, anything like that, up to a certain limit. Um, of course, we can't afford to go bankrupt, for example, she says with a, a wry smile. Does the training involve using the technology? Yes, of course it does. That's the whole idea. Well, I had to ask. Yeah, fair enough. I thought I'd made that clear. I thought GM had made that clear. But that's all right. Yes, I'm... As a player, I'm I'm good with it. I moving forward. Yeah. Anybody have any concerns or anything else they want to? No, sounds good to me. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. So this is what's okay. So game mechanic. This is what's going to happen. Um. The machine is going. They're going to program the machine with the various skills that that they've said. And I'll talk to you in a second, Doc, because I've got something special for you, if you'd like. Um, the machine, what it actually does is it actually takes points uh, on a point for point basis from your physical and mental attributes to compensate for the uh, experience points that you don't have. For example. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, which is what the headaches and the bruising and the body loss, the body mass loss and things like that is. Okay. So if you've got experience points free, it'll take those first. If it hasn't got experience points, it'll start looking at your highest ability scores on a point for point basis. So let's take, let's take Cerise, for example, if you don't mind me, if you don't mind Cerise. Nope. You haven't got any experience points left. You said that yourself, right? Yep. But you only need 10 points to become a, a first level uh, uh, Starship pilot, yes? So I'd lose five decks and five logic. 
No, you'd lose, looking at your skills, you'd lose a point off your dex, a point off your logic, 98, 90, yes, that's right, you'd lose five off each because they, they on a point for point basis, they are the, they are the, 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 the two highest, okay? Okay. Um, so, um, I, that's me being honest. That's Jam being honest with you guys um, to get things done in that regard. Okay. Now, obviously, once those those points are not permanently lost, I mean, they're permanently they're permanently gone, but your total isn't permanently reduced. All right. You can re-raise those at a future date by spending experience points just as you do normally. Okay. Yep. After mm -hmm. I adjusted all my skills, just to have to readjust them. Yeah, go to hell. Um, so, yeah, so, right. Um, so your normal maximum for any of those abilities, ability scores is 100, all right? Doing this will not reduce them to 95 for those two ability scores. They'll, the maximum will still remain 100, right? Yep. So you can re-raise them later with experience points. Does everybody understand that? I want you to make sure you know what you're getting into. Yeah? Yeah. I understand. Okay. Right. Now, by according to my calculations, um, um, votes going to need about. And I could. I, I might need to recalculate some of these. Cat's only going to need eight. Jazz is going to only going to need about eight. I think. Maybe not even that. Maybe only six. Cerise needs ten. The biggest one is Babu. By my calculations, Bab Babs. Yeah. By my calculations, you're short seventy-two points. Seventy-two. By my calculations. Because you're going to need gyro jet and projectile before you can get rocketry. Rocket That's right. Yeah. Gyro two projectile. But that is that that is the cheapest way of doing it for you in terms of points. Okay. Now, what does that mean? That means your stamina is going to drop a bit. It probably means your intuition is going to go down a bit. Your logic and your personality and your strength definitely is all going to drop somewhat. All right. They find somewhat. Well, I'd have to do the exact mathematics, but you know, um, so that's, that's more than ten. It's more than ten. Well, it depends. It depends because it, it it goes off your highest your highest scores. I don't think. In fact, I'm pretty sure none of them are going to go below average. All right. But they are going to be reduced. So you you and I will need to talk about that. I think if you. Uh, but basically, if we're going to move this, if we're going if we're going to move this campaign forward, this is one of the things we might need to do. Okay. Yeah, I think we were just, we weren't going to have Babu on Starship skills. Moving the campaign forward was what we were thinking, no? Since he was doing everything else. Well, I mean, Jazz is in a, bit, Jazz is in a little bit of the same boat in terms of being a jack of all trades, in terms of weapon skills. But I'll talk to you. Anyway, so the bottom line, that bottom line is I, Babs, you and I need to talk, and Doc, you and I need to talk, I think. But is everyone is everyone else okay or to move forward with this or not yeah uh, that's, starship that's fine to me yeah starship engineers 10 points right uh eight eight okay yeah that's i'll lose eight off my debts and i'm okay with that yeah was well, it only eight off your decks or is it is decks your highest yeah by 86. more than eight points I compared to uh, yes it would be. logic of yeah. 70. yeah so it goes it goes off your maximum on a point for point basis if there's more than one at if there's more than one at the equal maximum, it's done randomly. But I mean that shouldn't make a difference for most people. It's okay? savage, but yeah, it's fun. It's... Well, it's, it's it's savage, but it also it also um is part of the storyline mm -hmm. with what's going on. Okay. So that's a yes from Vogue. It's a qualified yes from Cat, am I right? Yeah, it's fine. Cerise? Yes. And Jazz? Mm -hmm. 
All right. I'll talk to Doc in a second and I'll talk to Babu in a second um, in a moment. We've been going for four hours. That is a good place to leave it. I will do the necessary mathematics between now and next week. Okay. Or next time we play. Okay. Yep. That's fine. Um, so um, if that's okay, everyone, are we okay to leave it there, guys? Yeah. 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 It's cool. Yeah. All right. In that case, thanks for playing. Um, thanks for those watching. Um, if anyone's got any uh, questions or otherwise, I'll, 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 stay, I'll stay online afterwards. Doc and Babu, just for five minutes to, when, we, when we finish up. Other than that, you can get those credits rolling, please. Um, Ryan, and we'll see everybody in four days' time. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape, and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz. On behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.